We're live. 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 Welcome. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> my name is Ben Bro. This is Sean Day Nine Plot. Yes. Hello, Ben. I can't believe we actually get to play Hearthstone together for two and a half hours. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I, I have I have two primary goals today. Oh, oh, good. One is to you know do the usual job of asking you about Hearthstone and cards and things like that. Yep. And the other is to try to make you laugh as much as humanly possible, which is so easy. Because <laughs> I informed you what my wish was, and you're laughing right now. My, it's happening right now. My face hurts from just spending uh, like what like 45 <laughs> minutes with you. Oh, it's been it's been so fun. <laughs> <laughs> because you think that right before this, what we would do is say, okay, I'll ask this and you ask that. We have been talking about absolutely nothing of value. <laughs> Frozen turkeys. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll the get a little salmon bit. levels in the yeah. streams of California. I don't know if we have time to get to the salmon, but I, I'm sure we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> because I, that's something very important to me that I was Googling recently. Well, I've just knocked my phone onto the ground. Ben, what are we doing today? Uh, well, uh, we're revealing a bunch of new cards for Cobalt's and Catacombs, we're gonna play four matches, uh, and some of these decks are a little, a little crazy. And Good. then we're gonna do some. We're gonna do dungeon run, yeah, which I'm super excited about. I've only seen brief snippets of dungeon run because I know that there was a lot of it going on at BlizzCon. I was hosting things. Ugh. I was doing really poorly in that <laughs> Hearthstone trivia game <laughs> that you hosted. That was that was hard to get through. <clears throat> but we're gonna get chance to play. <laughs> For like almost an hour, we're going to be playing Dungeon Run today. So yeah, right. I'm vibrating with excitement. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, okay. There's like, is there other things we have to say about? Oh no. The... Okay. I I want to ask you things. Oh, okay. Great. Things. All right. See see the level of organization that we have. The high level. Of ben. <laughs> ben, I'd like to ask you a question. Yes, please. Yes. Talk to me about what the theme of this set is, because I remember you know back when I was doing the Hearthstone card reveal with Peter Whalen. Yes. He he just I said, what is Ungoro about? And he just goes, dinosaurs. And you could hear there was wonder and amazement in his eyes. Like, what? what is Kobolds and Catacombs about, its essence? It's about treasure. It's about uh, all kinds of treasure. Legendary weapons. Yeah. Uh, chests full of hilarious, ridiculous items. Honestly, the whole dungeon was built around... It started with treasure, and then dungeons kind of spread out from there. Yeah. And all the treasure you could find in... The Kobold Catacombs. I, I'm really interested in the recruit mechanic, and I want to ask a little bit about that, because the recruit mechanic, as far as I understand, and if, if I'm wrong, then, oh boy, that would be hilarious. So, <laughs> so recruit, my understanding, is that it pulls a minion out of your deck, yes. drops it down. Yes. It Does it do the battle cry? It does not. That? Okay, so it pulls it out of the Which deck. Which can sometimes be good. Yeah, yeah. And... There's there's some aspect of control around the recruit. You know, I think about the hunter legendary that says battle cry recruit a beast, death rattle recruit a beast. Yes. So you put just big beasts in there. Right. You can play other minions that are smaller, and yeah. then the big the big minions are the beasts that you're gonna get out with that minion. And that specific card, I can sort of imagine what that deck would look like. Yeah. Oh, I just put in huge beasts, and then you rip two of them with this legendary. Yeah. But what about these smaller recruit minions, or these smaller? Um, cost recruit yeah, decks. So, like so, how, how have this been playing out? Like Druid, for example, is focused on recruiting minions that cost four or less. And so you, you have to be really careful about what goes in at that mana cost. And then, yeah. you know, later after the four or less stuff, you can put any five drops or whatever you want. But be careful with the one. You probably don't want like a lot of one drops maybe. Uh, but you do want things that are going to make a really big impact that cost four or less. I think we're actually playing. Yeah. Are we playing a uh, Druid? Uh, don't tell me. Don't, oh, no, no, no. Don't want... tell me. Don't tell I want to see all of this live. I want I want to experience it. And I do understand that we are going to be playing with the six mana summon two animal companions. Yeah, it's our first deck. It's, <laughs> it's our first deck. Should we, do we want to, should we, should we jump right in? Do you want to? Yes, yes. Right, no, right. I want to play the game. Okay, all right, all right. I want to play it right now. So we're going to challenge Reels or Reels is going to challenge us. One of the all two. Right, go to okay. The, do you know how to go to the friends list and... <laughs> no, I don't have any friends, Ben. No, I just, I, whenever I load this up, I go, <sighs> the innkeeper is like, good to see you. I'm like, you too, buddy. You got my back. Okay. I, oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh, is this how friendship works? It just, <laughs> it just appears in front of you. This is, this is my experience too, totally. All, All right. right. I hunt alone. That's your deck. These are the four decks we're going to play. Reels has got four different classes, nice. I, I believe. And so we're gonna we're gonna run the hunter deck. And how were these names selected? Was this like a committee of people, and this went to PR and came back, or is this just uh, you? I don't even. I don't, naming yes. these. Yes, a committee. Yeah, we have the naming committee. Oh, good luck. Have fun. Okay, I guess I was gonna have fun, right? <laughs> I, I I realize how much power I had. 
<laughs> it's just like... <laughs> I could have said something appalling. Okay, now, um, right away we have one of the Spellstone cards. Yeah. And I assume that this is what... Okay, so this is just a super spell-focused hunter. So right? this like, is, what is there's this? literally no minions. Right. It's 30 non-minion cards. So because Yoggin Load was a really fun deck. Yoggin Load is one of my yeah. favorite decks. Yeah, it, it plays a little bit like that. I mean, actually, some of these cards are pretty good. So you've got two secrets. Those will upgrade your Spellstone to max power. Right. They're low drops, which is good. Tracking is uh, always always good. Yeah, I, I I I actually don't know how to mulligan tracking. And normally, if Brian Kibler was here. He'd give like a really intelligent, thoughtful explanation. But what I want to do is I want to get that six mana card that summons oh the gosh. two dudes. Is this, no! is this is this going to ruin the promotion? <laughs> okay, do we have to do this? Is this in the contract? No. Is it because I really want to get that we'll card? We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, is this? I mean, it's not. Is this it's, a special no, build? No, no, no. It's totally random. Mo it's not rigged. Molly's got a button under the table. She presses <laughs> it when it's time to draw. It locks the door and gets you the six mana card. So I, I'm gonna chuck tracking. Uh, because Great. I feel like I would use it to get a card I want. Yeah. But if I mulligan, I'm the luckiest person in the world. I'm always going to get the card I want. I don't Great. Even have to discard two. Great. Oh, that's nice of you, Reels. All right, let's go ahead and squelch and run here and all that. This game, are you kidding me, Reels? <laughs> Who do you think I am? <laughs> now, this, this is exactly why I play this game with the skill set I'd have. Two secrets. Boom, there's Eagle Horn Bow. Do you think, you think we should... Wait and coin out the bow on uh, turn two. We could, yeah, sure. That was vocally amazing to me. That was <laughs> you were like the Mariah Carey of indecision right there. I'm gonna, I'm passing the turn. I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I would pass. I think okay. you can go secret on two, bow on three, and then um, he might not pop the secret until the next turn anyway. Like if you pick cat trick, for example. Yeah, yeah. And we'll then see. you get the bonus on three, and you could coin out the five cost card. Oh, if, oh if, my gosh! That actually, I'm I'm learning something oh, today. I, you could, I mean, or you could, or you could try and upgrade it again with the with the other secret. So I think I think the capture. Oh, hey! Like, it's oh. the hunter legendary weapon. Rock Dalar. Now this, you can tell that this is a Warcraft themed game due to the incidence of apostrophes. <laughs> the, the more important something is, the more apostrophes it has. Talk right. to me about this card. Uh, well, it says battle cry. If your deck has no minions, fill your hand with hunter spells. I wonder. I. Tight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Catrix coming out. Catrix coming out, and of course this triggers a little spellstone. Great. So you know all the all of the legendary weapons are are pretty narrow, right? Like the uh, yeah the warlock one is very good with demons, and the uh, the mage one is not good if you have a handful of cards all the time. You have to be playing a specific yeah. type of deck that wants to play four cards a turn, basically. And this one is only good in this deck, but it is super good in this deck. All right, so Chittering Tunneler. Th this is one of these cards that I never know how to evaluate because every single expansion set that comes out, it's like, maybe you should revisit and right. see if this guy's actually yeah. that good. Because I know that a lot of the... Um, it took a one cost spell. Okay. Well, the, the, the spell stone for Warlock gets upgraded whenever your hero takes damage. Isn't that correct? Uh, or whenever yeah, you whenever, whenever your cards yourself. deal damage. Not your hero power, but your cards. That's true. Yeah. So this this actually has a lot of extra value. That's true. So I'm gonna run this out. And I'm yeah, gonna I smack him. Remember this card that we just talked about being important. He's dead now. Look at that. Boom. Okay. So you have an option here for next turn. You could it depends on what you draw, but you could go secret, the wandering monster. Hope they upgrade your bow more, or you could coin out. I mean, three three threes for five is pretty good. I will I will tell you exactly the play. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I I appreciate and respect what you said. <laughs> You're wrong. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna play the wandering monster. Okay, Ooh, right. Very spooky. Okay. And then what's going to happen is that we're going to play this on turn five and then on turn six. These two oh, yeah. they were born next to each other for okay, a reason. Yeah. Hopefully your your bow is uh, you're okay with the string, your eagle hole and long bow there. Yeah, yeah, no, seriously. I'm gonna go for the value, pump this up to a three three, and then chuck it away for the value. Yeah, he's definitely hurting himself with that. Oh hey, you got another so that's great, because now your second secret you play is gonna upgrade both your spell stones. <sighs> but we have a problem. What's that? We have a problem here. But I want to attack with this, but yeah, you know, you I'll, you're, you're gonna, I was gonna you're blow gonna... it up anyways. Yeah, right. Gosh, that feels good. So many four, three, three wolves for five mana. That's not bad. I'd pay five mana for that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. No, I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see because, like, there's this real problem when it comes to evaluating what future deck archetypes are like, and this is why all of my all of my card reviews are the least valuable card reviews ever. Because I'm like, well, it really depends on a lot of things. <laughs> like, 
So much of what makes a deck strong is lots of small synergies building up. Oh, yes! The This word, Frost Rider, I have never known how to pronounce that. H Hildnir. It took you a, a few tries. <laughs> you were like, Hil Hil wait a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Hildnir. Okay, we, Hild we got we got the very very H word Frost Rider coming out four two. That's super lucky. This is why I like anything I where I can use my expertise with RNG. I saw that video of uh, oh hey. Okay, at the start of your turn, summon a. It's pretty good. Just gonna play okay. some. Okay. And there's a lot of high cost demons now. There's the nine mana. Oh yeah. Nine. The void caller is pretty yeah. brutal. So. Uh, hopefully that freezing trap does good work for you if didn't stopping that. But that's, this is a good turn. That's a, that's, a, that's a turn five. Oh my gosh, unleash the wolves. Arr. And oh, okay. Oh, thank it's God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh my God, that was close. Oh my gosh. Oh. So actually the freezing trap can upgrade your Emerald Spellstone to max as well. So then you'll have another, mm. another four 3-3 three, three wolves. Oh my gosh! That I, this this is the sca I feel like I just went down to tie my shoes and came back, and there's like a sniper bullet hole in the wall next to me, and I'm like, just because of some little incidental thing. What's this card? Possessed lackey, recruit a demon. Yeah, so he's probably got some big demons in his deck, is my guess, given what we've seen so far. You know, there's a lot of cards in Hearthstone that are super present tense tempo, like the Bone Mare obviously being. Hey, big. that's a new Wait, card. What? Dark pack destroy friendly minion. Oh, I got the cat trick going. So that was uh. It's in the history now if you want to check okay, it out. Okay, yeah. This is Possessed Lackey. Yeah, because this card... Go down one more. Go down one more. Oh, but I want to ask about okay, Possessed right, Lackey. Okay, you know right. what? Fine. Let's talk about Dark Pack. <laughs> you know what, Ben? You're the captain. <laughs> captain Ben. <laughs> Destroy a friendly minion. Restore eight health to your hero for one mana. Okay, and this is pretty potent if there's almost, like, you know, something like Possessed Lackey where, in a lot of regards, it's not going to do too much as a 2-2. Right. <gasps> oh my god, the value. Okay. That's pretty good right now. This is... You, you don't have room for both minions, but it's... Uh, it's coming down this turn. Uh, okay, well, we make know room. As much. Make sure... <laughs> you also have, you also have uh, coin, you have ho coin Hunter's Mark if you wanted to. Yeah, but listen, this is, this is the reason. <laughs> this is the entire reason. And Coin Hunter's Mark is like Actually, pretty high value play because if we run out Rock Delar next turn, yeah, you want to make room anyway. It, but but actually, you need to make room on your board for the the. the, the <laughs> I see that you're trying to hint to me that I could make a mistake. Don't, I think this up. <laughs> don't, don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get this guy. I think yeah, this is that's reasonable. I think this yeah. is the play. Uh, should we kill one of our dogs? You know, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna chuck a dog yeah, out. Yeah, chuck a dog. You know, because you could uh, low if, on health. It's if fine you, if you get Leoc out of this. Uh, Double animal companion. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. To my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can play it anyway? Is wait, it? no! <laughs> yeah, now. There we go. All right. Now. Wonderful. All right, now hit him. There we go. Okay, yeah. No, now, it's really <laughs> nice because I'm now understanding what the experience is like of watching my, my stream <laughs> through your comments. <laughs> no, 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 no. For God's sake, T9. Okay. That's that's the worst case scenario from the Skull of Minari there. Yeah, this is this is not good, but this is also this is not bad. It's not bad. And also, that's true. And he's low. You could just hear a power him a couple times, and he's out. I know. Hunter, you know, Hunter has really bad card draw, but they have such insane cards. Like well, so Rook good. Rooklar is a lot of card draw. I mean, you're gonna fill your hand up with stuff. Plus, you still have the Emerald Spellstone. That's another four three threes. Mm. And he's killing himself for you. So yeah, look good. at that. He's he's helping me out. That's he good. Probably, he probably does have the uh, seven mana life steal. Sorry, the four mana deal seven damage life steal spell in his hand. Yeah, yeah. That's my guess. That's, that's the that's the warlock spell stone. In case you guys are curious, is that two mana? Four mana. Four mana. He's no. desperately trying to stay alive Trust here. Me. Okay, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be reels. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Created by Chittering Tunneler. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that was not that was not terrible. That could have gotten a lot worse. Okay, so. Oh, interesting. So this is going to summon three one three demons. With three Voidwalkers. It's, it's the Void Lord. Walker. Splits into three Voidwalkers. It has the stats of three Voidwalkers put together. Mm -mm -mm. The three nine. Well, are you ready? I uh, I'm ready. 
Here we go. You're gonna, and you're gonna burn the card now because you don't have enough room to. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need Ooh, any cards. Oh, we got side. another to yeah. my side. Look at oh, rawr, oh, Look at that. Awesome. He's so like, rawr, I'm so happy to be in the set. He's ready for Thursday. All right, we're going in. We're going in. Okay. Okay, we're taking him out. You're, you're gonna get him real low here. So he's he's caught. You could just trade all three of those yeah. and then go. Uh, Face with two, three, maybe. You know, I'm I'm just gonna go for it. We have animal bite. Cause you got you got lethal next turn. I hope he's not watching the stream, just hearing me talk about animal bite on here. <laughs> and at the start of turn, summon a demon, so he has no more demons in his hand. That's Excellent. what it looks Excellent. like. Yeah. Yes. We're crushing it with this now, deck, man. <laughs> this is this is one of the employees of Blizzard. Like you know this man. You're just like, yeah, we're <laughs> slaying reels. He's done. <laughs> Now, in terms of like constructing these decks, is I is there, wonder. in terms of the you know gameplay you guys have been doing, leading up to now, is this a deck archetype that Reels has been? Ooh, look at that! He's going to heal for a lot. Is this like an archetype that has been pretty common? Ooh. Oh, he just got back in the game there. At least he's out of demons and cards. He's done. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Yeah. Summon the wall. You also got. Uh, Ooh. You also got double to my side there. Double yeah. animal companion. I think it's. I think this is. I think we're going to. Some of the cat trick. Dude, I'm telling you, to my side is so broken. Wait, are you going to attack? No. Okay, all right. Should I, you, have should a, I? you have a bow in your hand, so you can equip that and attack next turn if you're worried about. Oh not my gosh. A that, that, yeah, I got I to gotta be honest with you. That was the most diplomatic way of saying, <laughs> are you serious? You need to attack with bow. That was incredible. <laughs> that was amazing. Are uh, you going to attack you with the bow? A, a leading question. You, you could have said, to. attack with the bow. Is but, <laughs> you know what? You know what I think? <laughs> ben, I think I'm going to attack with the bow here. <laughs> Interesting decision. All right, All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there it is. Thanks. You know, I really feel like we're a team. It's really nice. I'm the brash one that will receive the credit for the win, and you're the one actually helping me win the game. Oh, hey. So he did not get to upgrade. That's the lesser amethyst spellstone. So he didn't oh, get the full upgrade gosh. there. Oh! oh! Good play. Good Sick. play, Reels. Okay. Well, he stole lethal from you here because you had uh, you had yeah. lethal otherwise, but that's pretty good. So I can, so I can deal three damage and Wait, three damage have, and two lethal. damage. Yeah. So we're gonna do this. Oh, you got it. We're gonna do this. See, that's a good. Team. We're gonna do this. I didn't see that. You know, part of what allowed me to do this is the fact that last turn I attacked with the bow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sick play, to be honest. Well done! Yes, yes. Oh my god, your name is Bro9! We're Bro9! I didn't realize! Oh my god! Oh, oh. I, uh. I realized I actually had real squelch that whole game, man. I got <laughs> shit on squelch. That was actually pretty rude. It's pretty rude. It's okay. Are, okay, we're going to LFG Catacombs. Is this the next one? Uh, yeah, let me check here. So right. we did Hunter versus Warlock. Let's do Warrior versus Shaman. So this Consult is, the paper. Okay. Yeah, the, we have the. And, uh. And this is this is gonna be we're gonna this is as you can probably tell from the name this is a recruit yeah. focused deck. Okay, you know, and, and one thing that we didn't do for this hunter one that I want to talk about here, you know, the hunter decks typically are very beast focused, very yeah. aggressive, and that was a completely different. Just lots of spells. It's, it's spell really calling. different. Honestly, yeah. it's super fun to play. Yeah, yeah, it's no, a it's... super fun to play deck. And you know, uh, warriors had pirate warriors obviously very popular uh, historically, and control warrior has not really been used as much recently is yeah. this a controllish warrior is this more of a mid-range well, let's find out of course let's find out together of course yeah <laughs> no wait, wait. The... uh do you want to show was there a card we missed in that last deck that you want to do you want to show oh, all right let's oh, uh oh we're looking at a card okay, okay. Right. so there's there's like there's okay. more hunter cards that we didn't get to draw on that deck here all right let's check them out i mean i drew exactly what i needed oh what's this i can't i can't see the screen give it, <laughs> what, give it. okay hold on okay what does it say <laughs> Oh, deal three damage to a minion, summon a three three wolf. Yeah. So it's uh you know, oh. it's it's similar to um uh what's that? Uh, the four mana three three deal two damage battle cry elemental, the Yeah, the, yeah. But it's but it's it's more and it's a spell. So uh three damage is a bigger difference than, than two, and uh you could play it in this deck of all minions. Yeah. Counts as a minion, it's good removal, uh, to get you to some of those those crazy turns later with the Rook Delar. And I can even see that. I'm sorry, just the word Rook Delar just made me made me <laughs> chuckle, actually. I have no not nothing circumstantially funny happened. That's just a this is a funny thing to hear you say out loud. Th this actually looks like it would be good in a lot of the um 
aggressive or mid-range hunter decks that have been struggling right around turn four, five, six to mm. just keep the momentum if you're starting to build some solid board. Three damage and a three three is really nice because there's a lot of three health minions there. Super, uh, is super there, value do, card. Do we have an uh, image of... Uh... Oh, there's Rook Delar again. <laughs> what? well, what's this card? <laughs> Rook Delar. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this card, I mean, this card makes this deck better, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. This deck is a, as good as the cards in it, and I think uh, both, actually, to my side, is, is pretty strong I, mm -hmm. in the deck, right? It's the question is, is the deck yeah. good? And I think it's, I mean, as we saw there, beat reels. To my side is, it's a pretty good card, I got to admit. <laughs> And a lot of people who are not as enthusiastic about to my side, you're wrong. <laughs> you messed Honestly, up. it's it's uh, it's fun to beat people with cards that uh, that they think are bad because then you yeah, feel no. like extra good. You're like, talking to a shadow form you? priest player, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing that. Okay, and what, are those the the, the two? There was one other card that we, that we didn't show. I guess we're gonna we're gonna save that later. Okay, I guess. All right. okay here we All go. Right. All right, I'm going in. I'm going into the catacombs. The LFG catacombs. Bam. All right. Now there, there's a there's a technical question I don't know the answer to. If you have squelched someone in the past, <laughs> I mean, you have to resquelch them here, or, that's or, good. or that's you have good. to not resquelch them here. Okay, cool. Oh, all right. For Doomhammer. This is the best deck ever. Look at this, Yshar. Why Yshar J? How is this pronounced? Yasharaj. Yeah, there's, there's, Are you sure <laughs> that those letters make we, that noise? We had this exact conversation internally. I was like, can we verify the... Uh... Whoa, whoa. What was that? Oh, those <laughs> swooping noises. I was like, you added epic mulligan sounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are these are very expensive cards. Yeah, but I mean, ditch them, ditch them. I feel like Gather the Party and Weish RJ. <laughs> this is the sort of synergy that it seems is built into the deck. It's sort of yes. like a... Yeah, a, you're, see, you're seeing the kind of the, the... One of the better plays in the deck right there is gather your party into Yasharaj. Yash now, typically, it's considered bad to keep six mana cards in your opening hand. But keep in mind... Um, what's the name of the hunter card? To, uh, to my side? <sighs> That's right. For some reason, I, I almost said turn it on, which is absolutely <laughs> not the name of it. <laughs> But uh, that's six mana. This is six mana. Uh, let's do it. Bladed let's do it. Gauntlet has attack equal to your armor. Can't attack heroes. Ben. Have you not seen that? N no. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. What? No. Oh, my gosh. See, I've been doing this. I, I've been doing a, a sort of a poor attempt, which is I've been trying not to follow the card release right. and trying yeah. to leave as much information out as possible yep. because pretty much I always look at every single card reveal F5 nonstop on Reddit um, and I've been pretty unsuccessful I've been reading a lot of the card reveals but this one when was this one revealed? Oh, it's pretty recent. Gosh, that is, an, that is an insanely good card for a control warrior that wants to be gaining lots of armor. Oh, no problem. I'll just play my Fiery War. Oh, oh, oh. so sad. I, <laughs> Sorry. Now, let me think about this. If I play this now, yeah. I could hero power yeah, and then attack. Yeah, right. in the future, yeah. but I, I probably want to just save for the fiery war. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Pick yeah. this off. Is that, should I attack with the bow? <laughs> All right, Reels. Is, is he unsquelched? Hold on, hit him with the greetings. <laughs> yeah, no, because we like him. Right? He's a yeah, good guy. Reels, really, oh, oh, nice. oh, my He's gosh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really... Is he going to emote or is he going to play a card? I, maybe both. Yeah. Hey, this is the new uh, Cobalt's Catacombs board. I don't know if you... Uh... Whoa, I didn't even... Okay, hold on. Delay of game. Okay, let's... Oh, cool. Okay, that's good. I mean, like, seriously, before Fidget Spinners, there were Hearthstone boards. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. That got revealed last night. Whoa, Cleaver. After your hero attacks, recruit a minion. Oh, man. <laughs> this card right here, man. Okay, hold on one sec. Okay, so the coins do it. Okay, I'm going to... What? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Brian Farr, who did the sounds for that, said he uh, used a bunch of vegetable sounds, and then uh, he's, yeah, like, no. needed, he's like, they weren't rubbery enough. He's like, I need some kind of rubber sound. And he went over to Andy Brock. He's like, can you recommend some kind of rubber sound? And Andy's like, rubber band? He's like, oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, anyone who works in audio, like Foley Room artists, they're just like in there like punching watermelons and stuff. And 
<laughs> rubbing wood against photos of their kids and stuff. And just, <laughs> like, oh no, this is really good. This is going to be a door opening sound. I'm like, all right, Foley artist, man. You guys are you're great at what you do. All right, dude, we're going to get to turn six pretty soon. This is this is a real devastating moment for me that we actually drew. Yeah, bummer. Although he's still good to, like, you'll play him and get an insane minion, so. That is true. We got the Primordial Drake. Okay, so I'm seeing the theme again, kind of similar to the Big Priest. Just lots of control cards. That's, that's if, a good totem roll there. Oh, dude. This, brutal. you know what's, if he has Bloodlust, I think. Game. I think that's. Game. That's actually. It's actually quite bad for us. <laughs> so if I... Yeah, I think you have, you basically, so obviously this, obviously this. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. What? We don't have a turn five play, because I'm going to arm up and play this on turn five, and I think it's a reasonable thing to do. <laughs> we don't, everything else is six or higher. Oh, my God, did I mess up? I don't think I messed up. I think this is the right play. What's wrong with that? What do you I know, really? I go, just, it's good. It's my super good play. It's super God, good. God, I never want to... I, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's probably oh. Fun. oh, I'm so stressed out now. <laughs> You're gonna be saying things like that to me all day is now. That, like, is that, oh, is that, that really the? Is that the choice you made? <laughs> well, you are the guy who has the mouse. Uh. Don't say that. <laughs> all right, bro nine, feeling fine. Trying to get to turn six. Really trying to get to turn six. Hopefully, it's, it gets pretty good. Yeah, I hope. I hope it's like there's a Baron Geddon in here. Oh, Master of Evolution. Nice little oh, oh, oh. Who is, is he? Oh. Me? How does he run so good? What is this? <laughs> that's pretty bad. He did forget to attack with that guy first. So I think that's. Uh, so. He, he literally is me. <laughs> Forgets to attack, gets lucky, anyways. Okay. Hey, there we go. That's. Oh my gosh. That's. Uh, uh, what a relief! It's you know you need a little bit more armor. So, um, I think I think I just gotta I just gotta do it just to in case of bloodlust next turn. I mean bloodlust next turn you. I guess you don't. Three die six anyway. nine twelve fifteen it's eighteen really twenty one twenty one plus. Let's see if I got the deck list here. Six. <laughs> yeah, actually let's let's hold on. Let's find out what that deck list is. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep listening to Foley. I don't think he's got bloodlust. Anything in the nostrils? Nothing but he, he probably is playing evolve, which is also pretty bad. Okay, so if we do this this turn, gather your party next turn. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm just going to do it. All right, just do it. Ba-boom. Ooh, I like that. It's a much thicker whirlwind. It's very thick. I mean, like, uh, visually. Yeah. Like, the, the, the right. animation. Yeah, I didn't. What did you... I'm not just one... I didn't just throw out thick conceptually. I literally saw more thickness in the whirlwind effect, right. and I yes. thought it was important to highlight that, because right. I want your game to do it's well. You know, it's important to me. <laughs> 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 All right, turn six coming up. All right, now we have a turn six play, which is, um, it's not turn it on. What's the hunter? To my side. To my, to side. my side, okay. It's what he says when you play Animal Companion. When you play Animal Companion, Rick Star goes, that's, to my side. That's a very useful mnemonic for me. Uh, now, we're, we're trying to rip the Baron Geddon right he's now. Got, he's got a mana tie total. That's pretty bad. You know what? This is, this is a pretty awful situation right <laughs> now. I, I, I'm not going to lie. We could draw a Brawl, that would be great. Brawl would be great. I don't know how many other sweepers are in this deck. Unidentified shield, game five armor. Ooh. It's pretty good, that'll keep you alive. It will, however. So, sure, yeah, let's do it. I really think this is this is the point of the deck. Yeah, let's do I wanna, it. I wanna, I wanna play it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. You don't have to ask for permission. All right. is, I'll, just make, a, okay? I'll just make a snide comment if I think it's the wrong, the wrong thing. Oh, hey. Oh. That's a new card. Oh, yes. That's, oh. That, that puts things in the... Oh, okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to become <laughs> that person. Because <laughs> there's there's a certain emotion in you where you're feeling stressed out, and then something good happens, and you're like, get him! <laughs> <laughs> to the emote wheel! <laughs> so that, that uh, unidentified shield, there's, there's you know, you start the base. The yeah. base level's five armor. Right. And there's four different options that you could get. One of them is... 10 more armor so and the other ones are deal five damage summon a five five uh, and think, yeah summon a five and uh, get a weapon that's right and this is especially nice this card i mean it's it's a huge it gets in the way of everything yeah yeah and i mean four attack is really nice yep. against uh both priest and aggro decks and it's a dragon and dragons are you know what can i just say that dragons are just awesome 
you can't. Dragons are you're fundamentally welcome. cool. You're welcome to <laughs> I think I think dragons are severely underrepresented in media at large. <laughs> so this is your next battle cry. This turn triggers twice. Oh, awesome! Yeah, except he's using it in a way that is uh, probably not the best, but because he ran out of okay. space to summon the both totems. That's pretty good. This is really annoying. So we can definitely just tower shield it up. Oh, Geo so that's, Sculper. That's yeah. pretty good with tower shield. So if you think you can withstand enough damage, maybe it is good to tower shield here. Uh, except you're. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm leaning towards setting up a primordial Drake that's turn. That's true. So I think that if I if I bop here, it'll go to oh, one, yeah. um, and then we'll heal back up to two, and you I'm could, sure. you could uh, yeah, yeah. And now he can't summon yeah. any more minions. Yeah. Because I could have killed it. <sighs> oh. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a good Hearthstone player, but sometimes I get lucky when thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Uh, he's been manatiding you every turn for a few turns, though. That's pretty rough. Oh uh, yeah. He can't okay. even use his hero power here. He could evolve. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> he just bloodlust and we die. And uh oh, like, speaking <sighs> of. Transform. This is fascinating. So yeah, he can, he can keep playing this. So he can upgrade a minion, upgrade somebody else. Oh, that's the Cave Hydra. That's new. Cave Hydra also damages the minion next to whomever this attacks. Oh. Hunter common. And this is interesting. This has lots of synergy with like a shaky zip gunner or other hand buff effects. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's pretty bad. You know what? This, uh... That's pretty, that's pretty bad. <laughs> This is it's not, it's not good. Oof, oof ow. Um, so I can I can plop down the primordial Drake, but it's yeah, Drake it's, is still good. He's still clear four of his guys. Yeah. He will respawn as oh that healing totem is pretty rough. Someone one five five mithril golem equip a weapon to upgrade. Is the mithril golem just a vanilla five five? Yeah. Does it have taunt or anything? Five, five. Or does it have any end of turn deal damage nope. to all enemy nope. minions effect? Doesn't just have any five. of those. It's just, <laughs> just five. Just you're running the mill. Okay. Five five. You could woe cleave, but I think. I feel like Primordial Drake that, is better here. Yeah, this this feels very risky. I mean, it depends on what you get. I mean, this feels very... Oh, gosh, I really want to cast this. I don't know what that is. I don't know you're what... Still you still survive, right? Like, yeah, I mean... Well, hit, I, I, this is this is probably the right thing. This is the right thing to do. All right, it's the boring choice. I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow, Squelch Ben. I can't believe you'd say that. Okay. <laughs> So I can even equip Bladed Gauntlet with yep. Lesser Mithril Spellstone. Yep. Get two dudes, I'll have seven armor, assuming he doesn't attack me this turn. Yeah, he could... Um, Can't quite punch through, though. Uh, he has cards in his hand, so let's I see if they do that. anything. That is the most commentator thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Listen, there's a thing that commentators do when there's a bit of dead time, which is they say something <laughs> profoundly obvious. <laughs> Well, he has cards in his hand. We'll see if he makes a decision with them. It could go either way. Okay, so here's the rune spirit. So when he attacks, he gets to discover a spell and cast it at a random target. So and this is any spell. It doesn't have to be in his deck. It's shaman because yeah. the discover always chooses from your class. So yeah, he's yeah. He's choosing a, a shaman spell here. And uh, random targets doesn't matter for a lot of shaman spells like that one. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, it's real bad. Wow. <laughs> So now, whenever its minions die, they summon a totem and go back to his hand. Okay. <laughs> you're still, okay, look you're at, still alive, though. Look at the look at how much maybe death he'll rattle. De yeah, text. maybe he'll deck himself. I wow. mean, this... oh my goodness, totemic might. That's just in his deck. That's oh, just a in hard his deck. cast totemic it's might. Just oh, playing God. totemic might. This guy could be strife crow. You never know. <laughs> all right, so um, it's funny because this board is all, like super non-threatening right now. Despite, yeah, I know it's despite. The horrible things he's been doing to me. I know. This is like, I have a lot of friends on MySpace, including Tom. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but it doesn't really mean anything. Um, so you have, uh, you have a couple plays here. You could start yeah. Woke Leaving. You actually can't what kill no. anything with Woke Leaver, <laughs> which is shocking. And uh, I mean, I, that, thanks I, to I could always might. attack this and then Shield Slam <laughs> yeah, it to finish it off. That's really good. Um, uh, you could Geosculptor or Yip here. Geosculptor, Yip. And summon and a five cost guy? Five cost. I could also. You're running out of opportunities to yip because he's you don't have any more armor gain and he's gonna deal. I don't do I three plus three, six damage next to you next turn to you probably. Okay, well. He actually I... can't kill Geo Geosculptor yip either without something from hand. Now, if I wanna 
take this guy out? Because, like, do I want to let him keep drawing? I mean, we're still 14 cards away from fatigue. Probably not. Um, but if you could fill his... Oh, I see. Yeah, you know, let me let me just slam it. He, he's going to get it back. Yeah, he's going to get it back. Okay, that's fine. I mean, uh, so badly every game, I want to just take it to fatigue. So I kind of want to give <laughs> yeah, him another... Right. Yeah. Oh, hey. You have, no, you have one minion. You could make your 10, 10, 11, 11. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's hey, not, that's next not that turn much you value. could play Yasharaj. So, we're going to get there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and chuck that guy out. No problem. Okay, so... I'm just trying to deal with uh, with Yip here. Yeah, see, I, I, I'm very used to these end-of-turn effects that don't trigger because of the specific card you summon with, and, you know, yep. Yasharaj to summon Yasharaj. Oh, hey, that's a big... Ooh. That's a big Ooh. medium. That's going to be bad. That card seems pretty good in the deck full of totems. The, the, uh, oh my gosh. Primal infusion. Oh my gosh. It's going to be hard to keep minions on the board. Maybe Woke Cleaver is. Uh, huh. Still can't kill anyone with Woke Cleaver. Maybe she just saved. Transform from. Ah! Ouch. Oh, this is, this is like. Oh, now he's going to play a spell. This is the For reverse three. recruiter. Yeah. Okay, what's it going to be? Just do it. Uh-oh, that was a bad yes. choice. <laughs> Die! Got him! Bam! And he's back. Welcome back, sir. That was a mistake. Yeah. You look at your target. Oh, thanks. Wow, the healing totems are brutal. Oh, hey, that's a lot of armor. Uh, maybe hope to draw on one of those Reckless Furies, and that's a board clear. Yeah, that's that's got to be the play right there. I think that this is also have to... Yeah, you're still, I mean, you're not, he's not printed in lethal yet, unless he's got Bloodlust, so I think you can forward Yasharaj. But if he has that, and the, he plays it and kills us quickly, you know, maybe... The downside here is, uh, I, mean, I, just, I don't think you have that many other places. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. He's gonna, he's gonna attack into the cave Hydra. And... Ben, if if this does its little whoosh lightning effect and nothing comes out of the deck, I'm gonna be so mad. I, what else? You gotta have other minions in there, right? What else? Did you... Well, I don't know. You tell me. I, I, I... <laughs> oh, oh, the stress. There's the whoosh. And there's the whoosh. Any. He... Oh, there's, there's uh, hey, another sleepy dragon. That's pretty good. He still gets to deal seven damage to your Yasharaj with the Cave Hydra. If he buffs the Cave Hydra, you're going to be real sad. Yeah, that is. this is such a cool card. It's very lucky that he got that and uh, was able to buff it massively in his Shaman deck. It's okay. We'll get lucky. Yeah, we will. We're going to yeah. draw the board sweep. Yeah. 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 Going to get a thicker Whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's, he's going to chuck his 1-1s one away. Makes sense. And actually, this this card, the Furlbog Moss Binder. Yep. Works really great with Evolve. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Ow. Is he going to be able to kill Yasharaj here? Did he attack with that 1-1? One, one? No, 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 right here. No, 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 no. Right here. No. You can do... Okay. <laughs> if I die to healing totems, man. <laughs> if I die to healing totems. You're getting lower. Is he yeah. going to rinse spear you? Do, do we do we got a woe cleave it? You can't even get through with woe cleaver. You're gonna I have to just... bring it on. You could bring it on and bring it on and bladed gauntlet and, and gather your party. Yeah, yeah. Is, is, I guess you can attack with a bladed gauntlet once you bring it on. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's let's do this. Okay. Let's see what we get. That would have saved you if you that would have drawn been, it. I, w I think I would have liked to have drawn that. <laughs> All right. It's still good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you uh, upgraded your spell stone. It's not bad. <laughs> this hurts. This hurts to have to kill an 04. <laughs> but we're going to kill an 04. All right. And you survive here, right? He's got he got 15. Uh, he's got 18. At 19, 20, so, yeah. He could, he's, you, okay. unless, if he plays nothing else, you, uh, you're still going to live. Okay, so he has 10 cards in hand. So if he attacks here and this dies, he actually does not get it oh, back to his hand. Yeah. Huge misplay. He's forgetting. Like, this is like a cell phone contract. Look at how <laughs> long the list of items are at the end. This is insane. He has so many self buffs. Adjacents. Yes! Kind of. Nearly yes. Yes. All right. That's 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 okay. We're, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I mean, all the minions in his hand are discounted, too. Thanks to Bring It On. But I, I think right. this, this might be one of those shamans that isn't running minions. So it's one of those guys. All right, what's what's the damage? What's the play? Oh, Another right. one. He's got a bunch guys. of those in his hand. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. It doesn't really matter. He's, he's got very close right. to full health. It's okay. 
Is it finally woke leaving time? It will upgrade your mithril spellstone to maximum. We better do it then. Oh, oh. It's a pretty good guy. one. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. I feel like we could. Uh, I feel like we could actually like jam it and play the mithril spellstone here. Yeah, I think this is the play. I Even think... though we don't have it max upgraded. Does this destroy the armor? Yes. Yeah, spend all your armor. Okay. And this has the death rattle effect of return going, going to your hand, hand, but yeah. it, it, it is not a resummon totem because that effect also happens. Boom! Oh my gosh, that it's is so stone. insane. Oh my gosh, that is so insane. We didn't get it all the way there, but we did get two five fives. Still good. That's pretty sick. You know, I, I wonder. There's. I wonder if this ever happens to Reels when he's doing this, where maybe he had Bloodlust and could have killed us, but he's like, you know, I want to let the deck play out so we can see some more cards. Then I do that, and he's like, I, I just should have killed him. I should, I'm, the next game I'm doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try really hard. No one gets to see the deck. Just like turn four, coin out Bloodlust, end the game. Oh, Ben, let's go to the next deck, man. Oh. Oh, okay, wow, Ben. You had, had a lot of cards in his hand, and you don't have any more Reckless. <laughs> This is definitely a Shamor Oh my against. goodness. Oh, come There's on. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. is he gonna, he's going to get another totemic call here off this uh, random draw. Watch. Oh. What? Okay, Auction Master Beardo. Whoa, oh, no. Not the Stormwind Knight. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, we got it. Oh, control. Okay. So that, he did not have all four basic totems there, but that is the... Uh, Okay. There's the ultra card there to go with that. Hey, so, shield block's not bad. Shield block seems like what we're going to have to do here. I think I'm going to have to... Because, I mean, I want a woe cleaver. I want to. Yeah, I think and I think you should. I think you should do what what, what you want. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I know that he <laughs> thinks this is the wrong play. Make no mistake. But well, you have to go into the 1-4, right? With the 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to have to do this. If I shield block, I mean... You could shield block and go in with the Blade of Gauntlet, but then you can't play yes. woe cleaver. Yeah. It feels like you should. I feel like I should shield block. Well, you could get another giant top minion, and then you're I happier could. with Woke Lever, I think, at that point. You know what? Also, there might not be any minions left in the deck, so. I feel <laughs> I feel that I trust you. I, I feel hey, that whoa, if no. you, if you oh, are no. giving me the suggestion, is this. Okay. What, what, uh, Molly, what what's, what's chat you? saying? What does chat think I should do? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. All right, well, it's RNG time. Let's da, do it. Da, da, do da, it. Da, da, da. All right, I'm hitting this yeah, one. Yeah, 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 Bam, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hitting this no, no, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, we should yeah, see what we get. We should see what we get. We should see what we get. We should see what we should get. Okay, we should see what we should see what we get. Here, 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 here. Yes, yeah, that's good. That's I'm good. That's so... good. That's good. That's good. Oh good. my we're god. Good. Good. You know, this needs to be respelled. This shouldn't be woke cleaver. It should be woke lever. <laughs> this Drake is so woke right now. <laughs> And there's a 16-year-old who's popular on Snapchat saying, that's not how you use that word, <laughs> You're 31, you're using woke wrong. And I'm like... He does have bloodlust! Oh! What card was that? I don't know, I don't know. Did that? Okay. Are uh, we dead? Uh, I'm not going to do the computation. Uh, we, we died. We We're lost. Dead. We no. Uh, we no, us. this is definitely a shaman. All right. Okay. <laughs> we lost the bloodlust. Oh! Oh, my gosh. The, the ability to clear with the... Uh, Reckless, reckless fury. Yeah, is with the with the big, thicker thick whirlwind. Yeah. The thicker whirlwind, that is super swingy. So uh, let's see, did we miss any cards? There's so another card coming the, up. Here. Uh, so view the ones we saw. We saw Woke Cleaver. Oh. That one we saw yesterday. That was pretty good. Got you some good stuff. Saved you a couple times in that match. Yeah. The recruit. Uh, any other cards you want to reveal after that game here? Oh, hey, Skull Bold Bar Barbarian. At the end of your turn, start your turn. Attack. Oh yeah, the start of your turn attack a random enemy. Now is this This is this all? is your attack for the turn. So uh you play this you just don't get to this he's very good for the stats, he's a three mana four four, but right. uh you just don't get to choose. Yeah, he might go for if there's only one minion. If so if there's no minions it goes face, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. But if there's uh the more minions that they have, the more Interesting. You don't know where he's going to go. Yeah, because this is something I was bringing up earlier, that it's always so hard to know how the meta is going to shake out. Because the, the, the first question that I feel like most brains ask is, oh, how does this help an existing deck? Is right. this good for Pirate Warrior? No, we can listen to the Stormy <laughs> Sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this is what Nathanius was talking about in StarCraft Two when you lose. He just goes, dong. And it plays this really sad low gong noise. Anytime I hear that, I'm like, oh, same thing in Hearthstone, where it's just like stormy music, and you just close that one right up. But um, 
You know, th this is the sort of card that you look at and you go like, oh, is this going to be helpful to Pirate Warrior? Maybe I should cut a pirate. But maybe this is something that you could build a different type of aggro archetype around yeah, for he's Warrior. Yeah, he's just good stats, but he's less, he's less predictable. He also gets by taunt, you know, potentially. So. Ah, yeah. All right, should we hop into... Spells are fun. So fun. <laughs> All right. It's good. All right. Okay. I'm going to choose it. Okay, great. So uh, let me see if I get any notes here about this match. Oh, good. This is a this is a big spell mage deck. So the point is to play. It's all about big spells. Rewards oh, for playing big oh. spells. Oh, I thought you meant this is like a predominantly Gina, spell mage deck. And I was like, oh, so a mage deck. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we want to we want to stall a little bit and then play a lot of AOEs on this full. Oh, someone a five five dragon for each spell that's you your, cast this game. That's your uh, that's your win condition. Deck of Wonders. Shuffle five scrolls into your deck. When drawn, cast a random spell. Well, I'm keeping this for sure. That's what? awesome. Are you kidding me? All right. Yeah. No. Okay. And we already we we can easily establish the meme on turn four. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, okay. This is probably the only card that we should actually realistically yeah. keep here. Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep these three. Okay. There it is. Great. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the captain. <laughs> Listen, the salmon population is going to do just... You know, let, me, let me actually tell the story. So so I decided that I was spending too much time on social media, yeah. you know, uh, just sort of checking and rechecking and rechecking yeah, when right. no one was... No one's talking to me, right? I didn't, Keep going. I'll end the turn. You, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. If the whole stream stopped for this story, I would not have a career in a week. Um, and so I was like, you know, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop going on social media. I'm just going to... Totally write it off and see what that's like. And what you find is there's pockets of like 10 minutes of time that you just have now, yeah. right? And yeah. normally you just go on some site, derp around for a little bit, and then yep. go to your meeting. But yep. I was like, okay, what do I do at 10 minutes? So I started just Googling random things. And recently, oh, look at this. Whenever you cast a spell, gain armor equal to its cost. Oh, this is an interesting defensive. Yeah, especially card. with big spells, which is what the deck is all about. Right. And so this is sort of a different defensive tool instead of ice block or ice barrier. Right. That's sort of conditional in a different way. An elemental. Oh, nice. This is elemental. This is also elemental. But I, I just started Googling random things and just reading a lot of stuff. And, and it's not that I would learn anything. I wouldn't become necessarily a better person. But I just, I know something new now. And I was looking up the salmon population in California, how it's doing. And there was some concerns uh, for some rivers coming down, you know, from, from Canada that maybe there would be uh, certain types of pollution that could yep. cause the population to go down. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I want you to know that the salmon populations are expected to return to normal levels I'd by 2019. That. 2019, yeah, I'd heard that. And that's actually that's actually <laughs> what I discovered. And that's it. And I know that now. <laughs> Gain six armor, recruit a minion that costs four or less. So here's a minion. Here's a minion that costs four or less. Yeah. No. So when I saw Ironwood Golem, the first reaction was, "Oh, this is a little bit better than Tazdingo, yep. but not by much." So it doesn't necessarily seem like it would be the most potent card on its own. But with Recruit, this is a really nice way to just play super defensively. Yeah. Well, you get the armor that lets it attack also with, with Oaken Summons. Cost zero. If you've cast spell, cost five or more this turn. Great. I think I'm just going to hit this because eventually it's going to hero power and just take it down. May as well just get the damage in now. Frozen Clone. After your opponent plays a minion, add two copies of it to your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So this would put me down to seven. I'm going to do this a thousand percent. really good math. Yeah, so eight minus one is oftentimes seven. <laughs> Day nine, yeah, everyone. You, know, you can mouse over your, this is cool, you can mouse over your deck and it tells you the number of cards in your hand now. It's like a new a new thing that we added last. Really? Like last patch, yeah. Oh. Saves you the math. Oh. Well, that's good because it's very dangerous to trust me with small number addition <laughs> and subtraction. So seven cards. Uh oh. Oh, hey, that's cool. We get two of those. After you play a minion, summon a copy of it. So I can play this and then play this to summon it to yeah. summon it to oh! replay it. Oh! It's pretty good. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right. Ixlid Fungal Lord. I don't really have a good way to kill that right now. This is not going to help That'll, me anytime soon. Yeah, you're, you're not killing that's the wrong thing to do, by the way. You definitely should kill that. You, you could, you I'm could. Try, I'm trying to think of how we even can. Well, it, it, you could let it go nuts and then start uh, chain AOEing the board after that. You have two that's, blizzards. That's going to be, that's going to be the solution. I think that's the play right here. I think what I do is I coin out this because that's the whole reason I kept it. Shuffle five scrolls into your deck when drawn, cast a random spell. I can plop down the arcane tyrant yep. and it can yep. 
trade acceptably well. I think this is... Yep, 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 yep. Oh, six, there six, goes. six, there six, goes. six. And then from now on, crazy stuff is going to happen. Okay. Now, once again, this says cast a random spell. Draw a card. Cast us when drawn. I bet you on the very next draw we get one. You probably get five. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Let's see how we're going to do. This is really nice to be able to cast on turn six, and then you can Arcane Artificer and then toss out the Blizzard. Oh, Branching Paths was in the first card reveal. Give your minions plus three attack, uh -oh. followed by draw a card. Okay. So looks very likely he's going to trade this, delay a turn to still keep Ixlid. Yep. Ooh. It yeah. Didn't, it didn't really... Uh do the horrible things I thought he would do by leaving Ixlid uh, unchecked there. So that's... On turn seven, I'm starting to get scared if he plops down an Ancient of War or a Bog Creeper oh, or something. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm amazing. Wait, no! That's the... No! <laughs> well, let's get this one out here. Um, uh, how are we going to... Well, I guess we're going to start... We're going to start Blizzarding next. So... Yeah, so I mean, we may as well get ten you may as well. Scrolls of Wonder right. in the that's deck. That's what I was you know, going to do. Let me... And you know, yeah, there it is. So let's. I, w I want to stress this is something. Gonna get, this is going to get fun. Spectacular. <laughs> okay, so we got. All right, there is. There's about a one third chance yeah. that this happens, yes. and one third is oftentimes a hundred percent. So, let's see how well this does. This is going to be good. I'm, I'm excited. And you're, so it's mm. just blizzards. It's blizzards all day from here on out, and then probably you're going to draw yeah. random blizzards to go with your blizzards. Oh, this game is also made by Blizzard. They just. <laughs> I really want to jam the branding through by just <laughs> casting up. You may only have two copies of each card except Blizzard. Gain six armor. Okay, so this is this is not super threatening, no. but it makes sense. This seems to be like really high value. Yeah. I'm telling you. Oh, here we go. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, here I'm... we go. Yeah! That's good. That's pretty good. Yay! <laughs> nice. Oh, that's best case oh. scenario. Raven and why not draw a card? Reveal a spell in each deck if yours costs more draw. And you have a lot of five cost spells in your deck now, thanks to the deck of wonders. But, uh... <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> is, that, is that really what you're going to do? Is that really the play? <laughs> why? Why would I not do that, Ben? Do you really need more cards in your deck right now? Yeah, you want more cards? You can, like, you can see, play Ixlid right now. No, of course. Oh, I mean, just, of course, I'm, no. I... You can play Ixlid and Arcane... Tyrant. See, here's here's how here's how I play is I click and drag a card and then I look at Ben and I see it. Okay, you know what? I mean, it's it's fine. Oh yeah, it's. Uh... Yeah, no. I, do you hear the satisfaction? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's like slipping We're into lost. a hot bath. <laughs> hmm? You can play this card, and get two copies of it. Arcane Artificer. I mean, you don't have. But 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 then he could kill it, and That's I would never true. have the opportunity That's to gain true. the armor. That's, That's what I was scared. Never. Yeah. At first, I thought I really misread this card. I thought it was <laughs> summon a copy. So, now I can later play this. You can, so yeah, you can go nuts here because it oh, looks like you're gonna you're gonna get yeah okay. So if you play Ixlid now, mm -hmm. you will get two more Ixlids. Oh, hits what you get. Oh, hey! Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, it only summoned. Yeah, because your deck has minions in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Still I'm good. sorry. Free four four. All right, so uh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, do you want to play another Ixlid? Because then you get two more Ixlids, right? But, but watch this. Okay, all right. Watch this, okay? okay? This what? this is a value play. If I play this yeah. and play Blizzard, yeah. I immediately gain oh, a, ton a ton of, of armor, armor. Okay, and right. then I get to get two no, Arcane you're right. Tyrants. You're 100% you're right. Thank no, no, you. no, no, no. I think, I wonder if you're right. No, I think I you're wonder. right. I think, I think you're this right. is pretty cool. Okay, so let's let's run out the Arcane. Because you can always yeah. save it for other crazy plays later. This is, this is still good. This is really good. So this Tar Creeper is still going to be alive, so... That's huge. That's huge. That's, a, that's great. That's a big swing. Uh, you know, I know you might want to consider moving this to mage. This feels good in mage. I gotta admit. <laughs> and you still have the blizzard. You can do it again I next know. turn. Oh, ah, God, thanks, Blizzard. <laughs> uh, Hater knocks, interesting. Very well. Lone champion. Yeah, Ooh, if you control no other minions, gain taunt and divine shield. He's like, he's like a different variant on a tar creeper. Um, Do I gain twelve more armor? You know, I, I could use twelve armor right now. Let me let me think for a moment. Let me think. Let me hold on. I'm doing math. I'm doing mathematics. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to 
because I want to get this other Ixla down to get two Ixlas. You, you don't need the. You don't need the. I mean, you could. You could. Ben, kill. I, I need it. All right. <laughs> kill. Then okay, you want to kill. All right, go for it. Just go, just go for it. Just do right. it. I'm, I'm just. I'm just processing all my possibilities here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just show him who's boss by pinging him with the hero power. It's pretty good. Oh. 24 armor, excellent. You're way, you're way up here, I think. I he can't even pop Adrenox to get his top minions back because he's frozen. Oh, it feels nice. Brutal. And then next turn, I'm going to begin drawing a whole bunch of random spell yeah. wonder cards. <laughs> twisting Nether. Yeah, <laughs> Twisting Nether would... That would be exactly what would happen. So far, it's been very good for you. This will be grisly. Oh, here's this, here's this card. Th this is a card I'm really interested in. Taunt Death Rattle recruit two minions that cost four or less. Yeah, and he's going to get back with Hadronox at some yeah. point. Yeah, and so normally a four mana 3-5 with Taunt is normal. So in a sense, this could summon 12 mana worth of 3-5s with Taunts, you know, with Tazdingos. But it's like that do? delayed value. And, I mean, there's a lot of, like, present tense value cards like Bone Mare that help the board yep. right now. And it seems like these Death Rattle cards are getting increasingly punchy and powerful on the backside because these are really low stats for eight mana. Um, what to do? Do I want to go with random spells? Probably, yeah. You know, I, I kind of want to just do the familiar, maybe. Hmm. I think I can hit ping, blast in. Depends on what he gets out of the recruit. Probably getting some taunt guys. Uh, that this will be obnoxious, but I figure I figure we'll have to start I dealing with it at some point. Yep. So may as well begin clearing through. I gotta stop talking so much. Uh oh. That's a new card. Astral Tiger. Shuffle a copy of this min into your deck. Oh. This gives the recruit deck infinite recruits, basically. Okay. They will never run out of recruit targets because Astral Tiger keeps going back in, giving you minions to... Oh, he's playing fast. I did my best. I did my best. Pretty good. A lot of time there. And he still can't. That's... Oh, he can get Hadronox off because he got the Misha. I know. I messed up, man. If you hadn't pinged Hadronox that one turn. No. I know. <laughs> I know that one turn where I was like, I'm going to show him who the boss is. And he was like, thank you. <laughs> I did not plan this well. Oh, oh gosh. Well, we have 24 armor. Yeah, and we I feel have, like, it feels good. We're, he's at 20. We got a board full of minions. We got a deck full of wonder. Scrolls of wonder. That's true. Anything Scrolls can happen. Okay. Just going to go ahead and. I wonder where the key is. There's a, there's, a, there's a way. There's a hidden key on this board somewhere that will do something cool with that chest. I can make these twinkle. Okay, so he's wrapping me. He's killing this. And. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Astral Tiger. This is a fascinating card. He's going to get... Oh, my... Ugh. <laughs> All right, Scroll of Wonder. Here we go. I thought we were, like, guaranteed to be in a dominating position. Here it there is. There it is. Twisting Nether. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. oh, that's your normal draw. Okay. All I was right. like, well, I just expected it to cast all of a sudden. Okay. So let's see here. We still, amazingly, we still have Ixlid Fungal Lord. That is amazing. So I want to kill this first, so that way it can't recruit good, two. Good so call. let's do good four call. and this. And let me start to play a little quicker because I am really dragging my feet here. It's not too bad. It's, I know. Ex I've seen so many of these before. So I think we're, I'm going to wind up chucking this at some point. Let's go ahead and seven, three, two. Yep. So we're going to do this. This. We're going to do this. We're not going to do much here. We're going to just blast this oh, off. Yeah. This is good. And you know what? That's actually kind of tight. Okay. Let's run out the babbling books. Let's go ahead and it's get with, two uh, babbling books. It's really good with... Uh... <laughs> sick. I'm so sick. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's really good with uh, Acolyte of Bane. And uh, you can get two copies of that 2 4 Acolyte of Pain. Start drawing crazy amounts of scrolls from your deck. We're going to kill him with fatigue. This has suddenly become a true Bro 9 stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He's really leaving that Ixlet up. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't, he doesn't even know. <laughs> he doesn't even know. Dude, look at this. Look at this money combo right That's here. That's pretty much. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure what that <laughs> combination of sounds was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the twig. Ah! That's going to set up a big turn, but I'm not sure he's going to... Twig of the world tree. So, gain 10 mana crystals on yeah, death so rattle. He can, so, so is... you can fill it. Okay, here we go. Hunter's Mark. Good oh, job. That was like one of the only targets that would have been good. Oh, hey, here we go. This is going to be big. 
Well, I think I'll I'll ping this one, and then I'll summon a million five fives. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, Zach. Zach. I don't know how he's gonna deal with that. Yeah, spreading plague's got nothing on this. Look at this. <laughs> this is great. Fire dragon. Not bad. There's a lot of really spiky moments in these games. Yeah, it's exciting. Well, he can. Uh, it's hard for druids to like kill their own weapon because they don't have any other weapons to play to like yeah, kill it. Yeah. But when he gets that turn, he'll get like 20 mana in one turn. He can just crazy stuff. That oh. is that is saucy. He didn't get Hadrox. Woo! That's that's the one saving grace here. Okay. Dragon fire. Oh, that's Reveal very a spell good. from your deck. Deal damage equal to its cost to all. That's minions. all minions though. Be, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? <laughs> Um, okay, so here's here's how we're going to do it. We're first going to pop this guy. Boom. Blam. And then eventually we're going to get... Okay, so this will be killed by the invariable draw of a five damage spell. So I'm going to pop this. I'm going to deal three damage here. And I, I want to show you how bold I am. I'm going to go into face oh, first. That's pretty bold. Because I know that I'm going to get a five mana spell. I know. There's, there's, there's no a ton way. in your deck. Yeah, yeah there's, there's no way. That's one of the things that the Scroll of Wonders does pretty well. I know it's going to be a five damage spell. Let's do it. I, there's no way it won't be. Even better. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have strike. to go in there, the first guy. And now we get to pop down the oh, long chain. Oh, that's pretty good. And I'm just going to Primordial Glyph. All right, to the decks. Yeah, you're definitely not going to fatigue him, by the way. Oh, of course. <laughs> Babbling book into Primordial Glyph into Kabbalah's Tome. It's just... <laughs> it's like uh, one of those Russian... <laughs> balls, but with spells, you just keep opening it up when there's more spells. Man, I feel like I've seen this guy Gosh. before. The third Anger time bear. We the fourth time we did. All right, so um, I think I think I think I'm just gonna play Ixalid. Yep. I'm gonna run down this. Yeah. And then I think Raven Familiar yeah. just to oh, have yeah. the nice board presence. And. Same. Easy. Easy. Yeah, he's pretty good in this deck, because your spells are pretty big. And are you going to go in there? I'm going to go ahead and chill. Okay. Or turn. Yeah, right. Chill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, he, well, he can... No. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. I mean, this okay. deck is hard to kill. He's got a lot of top. Yeah. The Nazoth and the Hadronox and all these Death Rider recruit guys. He is super resilient. We might actually get to see that twig of the world tree go off. Deal two damage to minion. Okay. And just to, so I understand this. Oh. Wow. No. No, come that on. That is brutal. Oh, wait, no, but I have lethal. So. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah. So great. I will. All right. Well played. Well played. Woo. That's Woo. a fun play, though. Uh, before before we end the game, yeah. when this says gain two more armor to upgrade, yeah, is so this... Yeah, so normally it's three armor, but it's it's if you gain one armor in one turn, it changes the two. So next turn you could gain one more, next turn you gain one more, awesome. and then it upgrades. So it's not just in a moment. It's not in one trigger. shot. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got him. Good game, Reels. Whoa! Yeah, no, I mean, there was that moment right at the start of the game where I was like, there is a 0% chance we will lose this. Hey, wow. We, we, we played 30, 30 cards in play mode. That's pretty cool. I think this is part of the returning player experience. Nice. <laughs> this nice. card hasn't been used since the last playtest. Maybe we should open some packs on stream later. Oh, back in the game. Welcome nice. Back. Welcome back oh. to the game. All right, hey, here we go. Let's look at some cards. Did we, uh, did we see? Oh, we missed one, I think. Or is that in the next deck? Let's see. This is the Astral Tiger. This, this was, and this actually gave him a lot of juice. This let these recruits keep going. Yeah, the yeah, game. yeah. The, the game went on a long time, so that was helpful for him. And you know, just as a side effect, this in the deck prevents from ever going to fatigue without some sort of weird massive silence, which right. is already hard to come by. Right. Or you just don't don't kill the astral tiger. Let it sit there and try and fatigue him anyway. Ooh, technique. Master Oakheart. Battle cry. Recruit a one, two, and three attack minion. Huh. So this is interesting because it's a really high mana cost, yeah. but if you're recruiting one, two, and three cost cards... Attack. Or, 
One, two, and three attack cards. Oh, one, two, and three attack minions. So like that eight mana card that we like just saw. Hadronox. The three five, yeah. like Hadronox or whatever, you can definitely recruit. And it's one of each. So you could specifically Ooh. target things like Hadronox. Okay, that's pretty sick. And oh, and this is this is neutral, so you could even a be a um, warlock summon the three nine demon. Yep, void color. Yep, pretty good. Damn, void lord. <laughs> three uh, void collars stacked on top of each other in a trench coat. <laughs> okay. All right, let's uh, let's play the next deck here. You the know, final deck. Let's do it. This is Galvanessa. Yeah, that's a very beautiful name. Yeah. So this is a uh, I think pretty clearly. Galvadon and Lanessa Sunsaro, who's I think my one of my favorite cards in the set that we've revealed so far. Uh, the the Pound on Legendary. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> one one. Cast all spells cast on minions Watch on her. Your... Speaking of, there she is. Well, we're I keeping this. <laughs> Thousand percent. It's seven mana. Yeah. yeah of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Did you see me keep? Scroll of Wisdom? Scroll of Wonder? <laughs> that was actually great that game, too. I was, that was pretty sick. All of the spells that they cast so, were very beneficial. Arcane Anomaly, whenever you cast a spell, gives minion plus one That's, health. That, and that combo with Divine, so this, this is great. You have a, you have a, obviously your turn one is playing the... Yeah. And then your turn two is nutso. Yeah, of course. Of course you can get some mana card. Dude, i got to be honest with you. So, so, so Molly's operating the uh, all the video stuff. And I want you to know that Molly buried her face in her hands. No, please no, Sean. Don't do that. All right, great. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's good. That's Stand. great. Give a minion death rattle. Return this to life with one health. Okay. So we're against a rogue. This is a new card. Cavern shiny finder. <laughs> so let's that's, see. And that's that's a that's a huge card because this yeah. uh, when you're playing if you're if you're playing a Kingsbane deck, Kingsbane of course is the new rogue legendary weapon. Yeah. Uh it's 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 one of in your deck. Uh, and when it dies, it goes back into your deck with all the buffs that you played on it. So this will help get that weapon. And if it dies, uh, then it helps get it back. So that's pretty huge. So if we play Arcane Anomaly yep. and then mm. Divine yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Strength it, yep. it can survive this, but then we'll die to a ping from Dagger Mastery. We can coin out the Desperate Stand, but obviously I want to save that for Lanessa Sun Sorrow because well, that's that's the whole reason I kept her. It'll automatically be played on Lanessa Sun Sorrow. Oh, I mean, I want to keep the coin to be able to play oh, this on turn six. Yeah. So I think if I run this out and just, I think we just accept this will die. A sad and tragic death. Sure. Sure. Okay. You think I should coin well, this? Well, no. I'm just, I'm just, I think that's a good. I think that's okay. you, could, you have one more option here, mm. uh, which is you could coin out the blessing of might. That'll take it up to five health. Take it out of range of the, of the dagger, because it gets plus one health when you play. When you is it? Uh, we'll take it up to five. Is it when you replay spell or when you? Yeah. Whenever. Whenever. Yes. Yeah, so you can you take it up to six health. Spell. Yeah. Let's actually let's do it. Ooh, ooh. That's this is... that's a that's a good turn two. That's a good turn two. <laughs> Feels good, <laughs> and the, you know he's gonna he's gonna play the immunity. Uh, you go back, Blade, Shadow you go Blade. Backstab. Oh, there's King's Bane. King's Bane, nice, and oh wow, that's one mana. For some reason, I I, I recalled this being three mana. Oh, here we go. So now he's starting the the pain train. Oh man. <laughs> oh. And now when that dies, it goes back with all the buffs. So the next time you draw, it's a one mana three three card. Mana. And he's probably gonna play some more buffs on it. Oh, here's a new card. Oh, only you can cast spell target. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when I started to read this, my brain immediately went to only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> and that collided with the card text and my brain shut down. <laughs> Let me actually pass the turn so we can get only you can target this with spells and hero powers. Yeah. So this is this is great because you could buff it and then your opponent can't execute it or interesting. Shield I mean, slam it or he can just crash right into it. Can attack it. Okay, here's what? The, the darkness. Okay, hold on. Mouse over the mouse over the history first. Mouse over the oh. So you thought oh. a four mana seven oh. seven was bad. Oh my god, it's a four mana twenty twenty? <laughs> what are you doing in this game? What are you doing in the game, man? Oh wait. Where? So it starts it starts oh. out dormant, so it's not gonna do anything. It shuffles three candles into your opponent's deck, and when you draw all three candles and snuff them out, so then options. the darkness awakens, and it's a 2020 minion. Oh my god, what are you, wow. Okay. Uh-oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, here comes number two. Okay, all right, all right, that's okay. a little dangerous. 
A little dangerous. Ooh. So I, don't, I would not play the Shimmering oh, Corsair. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. Okay. Reporting for duty. Ensure that it'll stay alive. And go ahead and pass. It. Okay. All right. Th this is. It's a little scary. This is this is tension. Save save some kind of spell to pop to deal with that guy. I don't know if I have it in me. <laughs> get a, get a get a follow the rules guy in your hand somehow. So I think that if he doesn't attack this, if he does attack it, great, I can run out the Shimmering Corsair. Yep. Oh, interesting. Now, that's not going to affect the dormant guy because dormant guys yeah. are immune to everything. And this is a neutral, so anyone can play. Uh -oh. Give you up in life steal. Oh my gosh, and it stays, it stays on there. Well, that's good. Now that's that's really helpful for Lanessa. Spike Ridge Steed on, on Lanessa is fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to run this out. Oh, you play best of wisdom on that guy. Interesting. I'm just going to go hard on the shimmering card. Listen, I messed up. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> I just messed up. I messed up. I mean, that's fine, because he's going to die anyway, so it wasn't like yeah. a huge deal. It's not the worst, but I don't even have time to play it before, so we literally just lost a bonus blessing of wisdom, a bonus card. <laughs> yeah, because then it would have got cast on Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, no, and I feel, I feel sad now. It's hard. Okay. I think, actually, uh, your next turn, if it's Shimmering Courser into Desperate Stand, that was a really good turn there, Reels. Yeah, this... Uh, that's pretty good. This is going to feel nice. He's going to attack it, but you're going to get it back. And then you could spec your steed on it. And do both of these. And then you. That's actually. You have a lot of spells. Lanessa's going to be big. And you're close to the Cladosaur. He you have better enough spells to get Cladosaur. I hope he's not one of those rogues that runs ways to deal one damage to minions. <laughs> wow. Oh my Brutal. gosh. I have can a you play. Have, can you, yeah, you can. Can you get. You can get up to seven. Okay, so you can, you can deal with that. Okay, okay. Ooh. I'm, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I want to get Galvadon right now. This is going to be the biggest pony. Job's done. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And you know what? Draw a card. Excellent. So now we have Galvadon. The, we have Lanessa. Do you, uh, I think you do Galvadon first? I think you Galvadon first. Why not? Kinda, That's like basically win, right? I'm yeah, that's game. Kind of in the mood to Galvadon. This this feels good to have a 10-5 who's staying alive, who's drawn cards. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Even if he even if the darkness gets unveiled here, uh, I think you're still okay. Now here's the question: Do I want to do I want to run Spike Ridge Steed onto this? Oh my! That's a God. new card. Give a minion divine shield and draw a card. Ooh! And now that gives you a, that'll cast again on Lanessa. So if you play it, yeah, then. It'll it'll draw you a card, and Lanessa will draw a card when you play Lanessa. Turn. Oh, dude, this pony is so powerful. This is the biggest pony. Draw, pony, draw. Nay. <laughs> Excellent. I'm not even scared of the darkness anymore. I don't know what he's because do I'm here. 31. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's okay. Lanessa's going to be not so big here. Oh, okay. he drew the King's Bandit back. It's pretty good. And there's a rogue secret. Why could it be? Actually, okay, so I'm really thrilled that rogue secrets are part of this set. But I'm trying to remember what the rogue secrets are. There's the whenever your a minion attacks, it attacks the a friendly yep. one. Yep, adjacent one. Um when you take damage, you get become immune. Okay. So do we want to go for an even bigger Linus? I think so. I think you can go think? righteous protector mm. into divine spirit strength. And then Lanessa. The light dims, but we fight. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh well, yeah. If he runs Vanish, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This dungeon rips the magic. Oh my gosh. Boom. Boom. Nice. Good. Boom. Oh, dude. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. I'm enjoying doing Boom. it as well. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Dude. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh. This animation is so good. Rock <laughs> card. Spike Ridge Steed. Oh, that's pretty good. Why not? A little more. 15 15. This, this is DIY shield. the Darkness. That is great. <laughs> I mean, it did take 15 cards to get here, but, you know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you can't even attack it next turn. Oh, what a bummer. Total bummer, dude. <laughs> dude. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, um, do you, do you, I'm, I kind of kind of want to play Galvadon because I mean, you know he's in, <laughs> he, here he comes. <laughs> here he okay, comes. All right. All right um, Winter. 
Yeah, I think Wind Fury is going to be pretty good. I kind of like this. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Oh, really? It's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him. Yeah. Get him a little bit. Yes. Ooh, I think I don't like... Okay, I think we're going to get him plus one, plus yep. one. Yep, 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 yep. <coughs> yeah, I think... <coughs> is that, is this, this is really interesting to play a game with someone where you <laughs> only one of you can control the mouth. Okay, and I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh, just, I'm real proud of this yeah, pony. Yeah, let's overextend. Why not? Yeah. It's good. No, it's this, good. this pony did a lot of work helping provide all the buffetude for... Look at, Look at this. She's <laughs> optimistic. I, She's is, redeemed. I know. She's on the Stegadon. She either has seven buffs or she bought one item at a Target. <laughs> and this is her receipt. <laughs> Zola the Gorgon. She was a friend. You can't, you can't target the... Uh, Add a golden copy of it to your hand. Okay, this is draw two minions from your deck. This is an interesting card because it's super understated. Yep. There's so many understated cards in this set that have other ultra potent effects. Yeah. Thing of the three five grizzly. Okay. All right, it's not looking good for you, reels. Oh, bro, nine. There goes there goes uh, King's Bane back again. Okay, I'm getting scared because there's two candles in here. Yeah, it's true. I guess he's got to do something to stay alive here. He could play that. Uh, oh, if he yeah. that other secret, then that would be that would be helpful. So this has got to be the immunity. If one. If it's the immunity one, then he's you got to find a way to buff your guy because you can't let him. Uh, you can't let him take more than a hit. There it is. Oh, there my gosh. Is. This is so close, though. <laughs> it's See, not enough. It's not enough. It's really? not enough. He's, we're going to send oh, him to gosh. one. And I'm going to do it. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 oh, okay. Oh, because oh, there's Blessing of Wisdom. The Blessing of Wisdom triggered. <laughs> All right, pony time. Get him, pony. Did we do it? We got yeah. him. We got him. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Yes. Well done. Congratulations. I think we won more than we lost. I think so too. Did we? I don't. E I feel like we did. Oh! Congratulations. Look at this. A lot of people forget this is in the game because it was they got it so long ago. Yeah. You, you know. You know what's amazing is that World of Warcraft is the only Blizzard game that I've never played. Really? It's the only one. It's pretty fun. Yeah. I have. Uh, I play Brewmaster. All right. All right. So okay. All right. So do we see all the cards? Should we see the. Should we take a look at some of these crazy ones? We. There uh, one more. We uh, saw the Shimmering Courser there. That one's fun. I like that a lot. Well, so this one is obviously very useful in this Paladin deck where you're buffing. I mean, I yep. assume that this also has use in other hand buff archetypes. Because, I mean, we haven't seen a lot of those hand buff decks exist in the past, but I can imagine that if you yeah. buff this up, some of those warrior cards. Could be good. Sorry, I'm just clearing out of the... Uh... All right, all right, let's see the next card here. All right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. We already saw this one. This is the Darkness. Man, I love this card. That is that is pretty sick. Now, n normally is how is this played? Is this played as a control item where you you throw it down and then you're just trying to protect until it comes to life? Well, it could be really fun in like a mill deck where you're like trying to get your opponent yes, to draw it there. Could. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, all right, let's draw some of those cards. Uh, the game goes really long and they don't have a big deck left anyway, right? The chances they're going to draw those right. candles are increased. Now, and w when it gets activated, yep. It will only ever activate on. Wait, it can activate on your turn if you are if you're milk. Yeah, yeah, if you're playing uh, Colette Oracles or. And does it still have the ability to attack on that turn that it's? It'll work just like Sherizen. So if Sherizen, okay. So because when it when it becomes undormant again, it's back. So I don't think you can attack if it comes okay. active on your turn. I was gonna say I was like. <gasps> <laughs> All right, and I think oh, there's one more card here uh, that we didn't get to see. Psionic Probe. Copy a spell in your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Huh. So this is this is like mind vision. It's really specific. It's you definitely get a spell, and it's from your opponent's deck, not their hand. Okay. It, it's actually very good with the priest legendary weapon, which wants you to play three spells in a turn, because this counts as a spell ah. and it gets you a spell, which then you can use to help trigger the nice. dragon soul. And I can imagine if there are a lot of large spell decks out there, this is a great way to just nab one. Right. All right, so I think that's all the uh, the card reveals. So we're going to do the first ever oh. dungeon run 
like all the way through. We had a, we had a, like a limited experience of this at BlizzCon where you can only play the first three bosses. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna get to do the the real deal. Yeah. I've only seen small snippets of dungeon runs. I've never actually done one myself. It's so hyper fun. I can't wait to do it with you. Okay. There it is. Just dungeon run. Look, dungeon just, run. Dungeon. I choose it. Yes. You I choose it, it now. <laughs> That's King Togwaggle taunting okay. you. Are Did you I... in? Uh, well, there's literally no other option. <laughs> This is this is good design. This right here. This is how it's done. Yeah, I guess I am in. Here we go. All Challenge right. one out of eight. Many monsters you are fighting in Cobalt Empire. Every fight be making you stronger. Oh damn. Summon two one one rats. That's, okay. his, that's his hero power. Giant nice, rat. Let's nice. go. Let's see how this goes. Who is daring to come for Cobalt treasures? Sword swinger. Okay, so. Now, I just choose a class and yep. just choose start a class. with the deck. Yeah. Every class is going to feel really different through the dungeon. So pick, pick one you want to play. And I'm going to go Druid. Love it. Druid. It's my first love. Here's a game. little tip here. You'll never assemble the legendary sword of Keldalar. Nope. Oh, that was the tip. I thought you were just making conversations. No, that's the just game a... loaded. You're reading what was on the <laughs> I was screen. I reading on the screen, yeah. It's like, oh, I didn't know that, Ben. That's really cool. Do you know the salmon population is going to be just fine in 2018? 2019. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. I need to go back and reread to get the dates correct. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so this, you you start with a ten card deck. This is the the, okay. the starter deck. Every time you run the dungeon, you'll start with these ten kind of basic cards. They're not, yeah. They're not basic the class, but they're like they're not gonna push you in any specific direction. Okay. Uh, they're kind of just useful cards, and you'll you'll push the deck in your own direction as you pick cards throughout the, the run. So I see. And. Um, whatever I do in each individual challenge mission, is there any carryover? Like, if I lose health in this mission, does it carry over no, the next one? It's uh, just new challenge, new challenge, Not new challenge. by default. Some of the treasures might break that rule, but let's just uh, okay. let's see how this goes here. Okay, so Shade and Axe Ramos. Start of turn game, plus one, plus one. Mulch, I probably don't want it at the start. These seem okay yeah, sure, to have at yeah. the start, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep them. I don't, I don't really know what's is in the rest of the deck. So, so the, oh, yes. the pool of cards you can uh, see in the dungeon run comes from all the cards we've already made at Hearthstone. So you'll see a lot of cards in oh, the past. You are finding me small and weak, but so is you. I'm, I guess I am a little bit small and weak. That does. <laughs> but you only got this 10-card deck, and you're definitely going to get stronger over the course of this dungeon run. Okay. This is this is actually quite intimidating with just 15 health. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. I'm going to plop down. Yeah, you down both for... start very low. Very few cards. The first fight's gonna go fast. Great. Sick. I'm so sick at this. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'd be surprised if you got to turn seven. Wow. Beastial Wrath. Wow. Wow. It's actually like a huge percentage of your health there. Just goes for it. Okay. Well, we can swipe him right here. Yeah, clear so you, this. You, you, you can take him down to three next turn. And, it's, and Swipe will clear the board, too. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, this so, is, this so is not So the a first battle is, like, pretty high stakes. It's it, it's definitely easier than the later battles, just to get started, but uh, you, you have very little health, so you have, if you let things get out of hand, it uh, it's going to end fast either way. Oh. All right, I think you got him. All right. See, you always you want to play as few cards as possible to be appropriate and mannered. <laughs> you don't, don't have to worry about that in the dungeon run. These are. Yeah. Uh... I want to be very thoughtful of this computer. He's, he's been a rat his whole life. <laughs> I don't want to rub it in. Okay. Okay. So this is a this is a passive treasure. This is just gonna be true for the rest of the I rest see. of your run now. Okay. This is your starting ten card deck. Okay. okay. So, so you could choose to have your battle cries triggered twice from now on in this dungeon run. You yeah. could choose to draw two extra cards at the start of the game, every game from now on. Or you could choose to start with three random secrets every game. Okay, so if I did small backpacks, this would be yeah. really nice if I started to get more aggressive cards and wanted to be able to run them out early or guarantee that I could have a good curve at the start of the game. This yep. seems very defensive. Uh, it could be. I mean, there's definitely some aggressive secrets. Yeah. Uh, your battle cries trigger twice. I don't think I really have that many significant battle cries no, other than the going forward. But but it will change all the decisions you make going forward. But I agree. I think one of the other two is probably better. I'm gonna go with the small backpacks. And Pretty see good. This is all right, now. You are picking now. Cards for being in your dungeon. <laughs> thanks, deck. thanks, Dog Waggle. So this, you get oh. to choose a, a bucket here. You get three cards, and uh, you can add all three to your deck. So your deck's gonna get a lot, a lot oh, stronger my here. It's a lot of healing. So you get a heal bucket, you can get Jungle Giants the bucket, or you can get a bunch of Taunt Minions. 
and things that work with taunt. I feel like I want to do the taunt bucket, I think. Well, no, I just did draw two cards. But see, none of these are particularly... It mitigates, you know, it mitigates the Jungle Giants. Yeah, I think downside. that's I think that's right. I think we're gonna go with Jungle Giants to mitigate right. that. One dungeon All right. run is to be fighting eight monsters, one for each finger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how Pathmaker <laughs> Pathmaker Ham. All right, Pathmaker Ham, what a name, <laughs> what a name, Pathmaker Ham. Okay, deal one damage to two random minions. All right, makes sense enough. He's got some dynamite. Lighting candles. All right. He's the classic kobold miner. Oh, this happens at the start of every turn. Yeah, he's a solo cast, so he's just gonna, he's gonna keep blowing things up. All right, I'm running at the jungle giants. I must protect. The no wine. doubt, Mounted Raptor is one of my lower costed cards. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess it's fine. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess. I yeah. guess. For God's sake, don't <laughs> mull it, Sean. Okay. And you get two extra cards. Yeah. Okay, great. Celestial Dreamer. As you be getting stronger, monsters be getting stronger. So you've got a little more health, mm. and you so does Pathmaker Ham. Important part of Cobalt Empire mixed market economic doctrine. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, where's the key? I gotta find the key. Oh, what a you do gotta find the key. It's somewhere. Where's the key? It's not, uh, it's not easy to find. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, I'm going to run up to Forager, <laughs> and I'm going to just continue to play this game. All right, great. Oh, hell yes. This is coming down instantly. Ooh. Boom and boom. Okay. So, Mounted Raptor. Only thing we can really do that's significant, but once we start running down the shell shifter is the 5-3, we can celestially dream about stuff. I don't even think we have enough cards to trigger jungle giants at all. Yeah, probably not. Oh, I'm so lucky. This is amazing. Oh, I'm so lucky. There we go. Oh, how sad. All right, so I can just plop this down and keep board presence. And I actually think that that's pretty significantly good. Because frankly, he's, he's he's at 11. So I'm going to run down, swipe, take this down. It's not going to hit this. Damn, nice. I'm sick. Nice. I'm pretty sick. He had One, that, two. It's auto cast. He has to do it before. Let's see. Do you have lethal? Seven, three, seven. I don't think quite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close. This would be nice to run down. You know, I, I think that... Just throwing down a bunch of minions, going into face. He's relatively low. Yeah. Seems strong. That's going to buff his Berserker pretty good here. And he can trade here. No, no, he can't. He's incapable. The flinger. Okay. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Ben. Well done. I'm the king of the run. Well done. Well done. All right. So yes. Now things start ramping up, right? The first okay. couple don't get, don't get cocky. Oh, I'm <laughs> cocky immediately. I'm actually one of the better dungeon run players out there. It is incredible what I do in so, this game. So here we go. You get to choose another another trio of loot here. Be taking more loot if Cobalt way. So there's more uh, stuff for the jungle quest over there. That one's pretty good. Hmm. That is an interesting card. So a five one revenant. It's a new card, I think. Yeah. You know, I I don't think the Jungle King is going to be good right now. I think I'm going to go with the Jungle Activators. Did you even look at the other, uh, the top, top bucket? Well, I mean, th this looked like the same thing. It's very similar. Last yeah. one. So, I mean, it's not, this is. Let's do it. Jungle Quest. Let's yeah, do it. Double I mean, down. Double down. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm doing it. All right. All right. Here it third comes. boss. Frost, Frost fur. fur. Freeze a minion. Okay. Two mana. Great. No problem. No problem. Zero problems. None. <laughs> you know, I'm expecting a solid 3-0 here. Uh, you nuts. need to go eat. 8-0, that's the... <laughs> I'm, I'm real pleased with my 3-0. 3-0, you just have to like stop at some point. It's like... <laughs> All right, Jungle Giants, great. I must protect you know, you think I, could, I should throw back this Mounted Raptor here? Uh, I like the Mounted Raptor. Okay. I mean, I you think here. maybe I should? Okay. All right, so Jungle Giants normally struggles a lot with Druid because you both want to get the big dudes out, but only have two cards. But look at this. So nice. That is okay. nice. Every time Tortolan Forager turn two. Every time. Your deck is pretty small still. 
That's, it's ramping up inside. That's how we do the three O's, baby. <laughs> okay. So, it, it, is this the exact same um, ramp up each time, or is it like a different set of level threes that I'll play against? Yeah, so there, there, there's randomness at every tier. So, uh, the, the first boss you play against might be different. Uh, there's even more randomness as you get into the mid game. And actually, there's like five different final bosses that you could be fighting that you can't see until the very last spot let's see okay well i'm just going to keep running out cards yeah, let's quickly. and i like the fact that because it's against an ai it's an instant Ooh, that's, that's i don't rude. like the fact that this is an ai <laughs> <laughs> okay but but i love the fact that oh yeah it's fast you, you can play you wait for... super fast plus two yeah, attack yeah, yeah, and yeah. stealth great let's get the jungle giants going yeah because they don't take any time to make decisions they just go right away so it's actually even though it's like a 10 fight run like uh or eight fight run it's uh it's pretty quick okay. it's even quicker if you lose <laughs> i wouldn't know hopefully about hopefully you that. don't do hopefully that's i'm not two and oh right now okay so <laughs> de de definitely running out the celestial dreamer this seems good yeah does that work with the uh, jungle giants i can't remember uh yeah i'm i'm 60 percent certain I think we made a change recently where that doesn't... Uh... You you did hear me say 60%. That's <laughs> that's that's pretty unlikely <laughs> still. It's, <laughs> it's like a weighted... <laughs> All right. And I think maybe we hit him with the power of the wild. That's pretty good. You know, I think... I think so he's the only... Like, you, you know, right now you're... Yeah. You're, you're um, still pretty, like... Starts, like, with not 30 health still. So it's yeah. pretty reasonable to try and rush him down here. Good. Good. Freeze, fine, no problem. Is it a game? And we did it. Yeah, Look we at did that. It. We did it again. Dun 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 So the the difficulty now starts starts to really slant up. The three okay, bosses. So uh, you could probably get three. Bosses. These initial three are not necessarily representative. Let's just, uh, let's just see how okay. it goes, you know? Let's just see okay, how we'll see. I like that. Okay, so now you get to do a new treasure, and these are active treasures. These are cards that go in your deck. They're a little bit ridiculous. Uh, let's, so let's take a look. You take control of an enemy minion out of your dungeon deck. Oh. So that's, that's, that's like literally put it in your deck for all future fights. Yeah. Take an extra turn. Cost one less for each boss you've defeated this run. So you've defeated three bosses, so that's going to cost you four in this next fight. Fight for that will cost you three if you win. Then we go to two, so it keeps getting cheaper the deeper you get in the dungeon. Cheaper and deeper. You know, I, I think bag of coins could be pretty sick here. It's it's sometimes ridiculous. Could be pretty sick. It's I a think lot of mana. Shifting hourglass could be pretty sick. They're both good. They're all good. And there's some really wow. good enemy minions that you might want. And it's two mana mind control, first of all. Second, it's like make your deck way better for future runs. They're all really yeah. ridiculous. Hmm. <laughs> What do I want? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. You know, I think. I kinda, it's juicy, man. Gosh. I mean. Wait. What? Is, what does the chat want? Okay. Good. We got. We got okay. Okay. We made half a chat happy. <laughs> Call of Cthulhu. Look, this is not that. <gasps> yes. <We're> so <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Yes. I mean, that's really good with the Jungle Giants quest. If you... It would have been so good with the bag of coins. <laughs> all right, so we, we uh, do we have a good way to activate it? I mean, not exactly. Like, we can we have one, so the, two. The, left, ooh, the leftmost bucket there is all activators. Yeah. Uh, but, but but at some point, you want stuff to play with the Jungle Giants quest. So this, I feel like, I feel like we're going to get lucky. I feel like we choose this, and as time goes on, we're going to get more. Uh oh. AFK, ah. Waylay this adventurer while she isn't paying attention. Her hair powers do nothing. That doesn't seem very good. I feel like you are trying to deceive me. <laughs> I feel as though, in a way, you're lying to me, and that hurts me. <laughs> Oh, that did, doesn't seem very good, Sean. Say, looks at me, looks at the camera, looks at me. <laughs> Man. All right, there's AFK. AFK. All right, turn one, she's going to play a one mana Infinidon. Okay, so I'm keeping mulch. Uh, I don't know if you should keep mulch. I don't know if you should keep jungle giants. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I wish. I wish there was a way to zoom in on Ben's face as he was saying that. 
<laughs> okay. Sure. Okay, I mean, so know, this is so this is part of the 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 trick of doing the dungeon is understanding what uh, you're likely to run up against here in the in the dungeon, and uh, this is a pretty cool cool. I have yeah. my big no, cards. No, 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 you don't need to play that right now. You don't need to play that because you're not gonna you're not gonna get up next turn. You start with the two two. No, of course. <laughs> you don't have a turn two play. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I'm trying to okay. help. This is gonna be uh, maybe tougher than you imagine. No, 100. percent In fact, I have no imagination about this <laughs> right now. I'm going in. Okay, so she just skipped her turn one. That's pretty interesting. Okay, she skipped her turn two. I don't know. Okay, this okay, is this good. is this is. I can't believe this is happening. This is. I know something's up. I know it. I am certain something bad is going to happen to me. Oh, that's a turn. That's a not a very good turn three. Okay, okay. It isn't. You know what? I have to agree. That is not a good turn. I think actually the. Yeah. I'm just going in. I'm going in with the three three. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's see, turn. I feel so stressed right now. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna attack and attack and attack, and I'm just gonna go and charge. I just, ugh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that the game? You got it? I think you have it exactly full, so yeah, you do. Okay, all right, well, that's, that was good. That was good. Yeah, maybe that's it. that's all that happens. That's probably how that fight just goes. <laughs> hey, Sean, that was the Hearthstone card reveal. Oh, Ben drowned on his own spit laughing. What did she do to me? What? I, you, you're messing with my emotions. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was really stressed. <laughs> I thought it was going to look dumb. <laughs> Wait, it, was something supposed to happen? <laughs> she was AFK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh like my heart rate. <laughs> Is actually, it's higher than it was. Okay, I'm gonna go with the jungle quest. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> she was AFK. <laughs> he was mush huckstering. Okay, craft a custom mushroom potion. Uh, I don't, I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One day, one day I want you to just try to surprise me. <laughs> one day. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually, that's a nice touch. It's a nice relaxing thing. Just right in the middle of that, right as things are ramping up. Is that, does that happen every time you play? No, okay. the dungeon is super random. There's a lot of rare, uh, okay. rare spawns in the dungeon. So uh, some, sometimes you'll have done a, you know 50 dungeon runs and you'll see something you've never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was really stressed. <laughs> really like meaningfully. That's that's been the hardest part of this entire card reveal so far. All right. Oh. That's phenomenal. Two elder long necks. Perfect. Oh. That's 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 crazy. That's real good. Hopefully it doesn't have anything to do with one damage, but that's uh that's saucy. Too bad. Oh bummer. Should have gone stealth, man. I don't know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. So um just gonna go mounted raptor, no yeah. problem. Run yeah. out servant, run out celestial dreamer. Boom. I don't think this is getting powered up quite yet. We only have three big dudes. Deal two damage to all minions. Someone in front of you. Okay, this is actually getting significantly concerning, but that's okay. Watch this. Watch this. Okay, we, I'm watching. I'm watching. Run this out. I'm watching. The random spell we get is going to be pretty incredible. It's going to be. Oh, it's pretty incredible. That's, that's... pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
because I, I, I can feel myself hitting a point where I want to talk less and just think about the game more. Yeah. He remains too good. So the mushroom potions are just the one mana Kazakh potions. Gosh, the one mana Kazakh potions are especially brutal. Yeah. So this is a 4-5, that's fine. So we'll likely pop here and take this out. I think I want to try to just get a large board. Yep. Let me go for that amazing Wind Fury again. Okay, wait, Divine Shield. Form of Dragon. Form of Dragon. <laughs> do you, okay, what percentage of the time do you repeat after? A, a, a very large percentage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm at least like 30, 40%. <laughs> okay, that's okay. It's okay, that's fine. Oh my God. You have a lot of health and so does he. So this has started the ramp up significantly at this point. Okay, we have some options. I think I'm gonna run down the four six. Okay. We'll power it up. And just do some very basic calm clearing. Power. Keep the board clear. What's your uh, what's your status on general dice? It's on general dice. Things two of five, three of five. Great. Not good. Okay, so it's the one mana potions. Deal two damage to all minions. That, that's okay. That's fine. Spider. It's a little annoying. It's fine. It's fine though. Oh hey. And that's Take that's an extra turn. It's gonna be uh it's gonna get even better if you win this fight. I think I'm gonna do this. Run in. Just wanna have the big dude down. Then yeah. I can extra turn right. run down Tarantus. Yeah. Ooh. This is the good one. <laughs> this is the good one. Oh my gosh. Give adjacent minions plus two plus two. Oh, is this? That's, I think that's me, right? So that this is, I mean, it's definitely a new card. I was wondering if it's a unique card. No, it's, that's a, that's a collectible card. Nice. Okay. We got some decisions. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can mulch this and just do the extra turn takeage. Yeah, I think you can also, like, like, frost more in that next turn if you wanted to. I guess you're going to do a Tyrannus next turn? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we'll do eleven twice. That's twenty-two. 22 plus 5 is 27. One more, one more minion and you get uh, Jungle Giants going? But I think we can actually do lethal with the Shifting Hourglass. Oh, yeah? Right, because we if this is, right now this is 11 damage, so I can okay. deal 11 now, and yep. I can deal 11 on my follow-up turn. Can you can you uh, Power of the Wild first? You could go Celestial Dreamer, I think it's Power Celestial Dreamer, so that'd be, that'd be 27 damage plus another You could swipe also, three and Frostmourne, and... I guess. You know, let's just stop trying to compute. Let's just do just, what we just think. Let's just play the cards. I think this is the, yeah. the correct yeah. oh, point. Yeah. Give oh, yeah. all your moves. Oh, yeah. Form of extra turn. So you saw that you start doing small number addition, and at some point you just have to trust that this is enough. Because yeah. this is 15. This is 20. Yeah. Your we turn. did it. Okay, let me make sure we don't mess this up. I'm just dragging. Good dragging in skills. Well done. We, well done. Dude, that, that hourglass is real good. Real good. I feel clever. I feel clever. All right, so it's getting a little steeper right. here. And you get another passive one here. Double your starting health, and you have 40 now, so you can go to 80 health. You can draw two more cards at the start of the turn, or huh. the Cloak of Invisibility is totally insane. Your minions have permanent stealth. That means even if you attack, they, they, they still have stealth. They never lose stealth. Permanent. But I feel like this is going to backfire on me because, because they, can go, they can go face instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I think potion of vitality. I think I'm just going to play super calm and right. go from a big dude. It thing. does help because you have a, a really late game deck, so that will get you uh, later in the game. Oh, nice! You can put a moon fire in there. That's so sick. Uh, restoration. I'm going to go with the jungle quest. Yeah. I'm going to keep keep with my thematicism. But I, you know, th there's also the restoration, which I also yep. feel like would be beneficial to this, especially too. when you have so much health. Bristle snarl, 50 health. Bristle snarl, <laughs> slash narsh. <laughs> what a great name, bristle snarl. <laughs> so his hero power right. starts to starts to spiral out of control a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. It's a good thing I'm doing a slow deck that delays things yeah. over time, giving those extra turns that he needs. Hopefully he doesn't have uh, good cards to play. I'm immediately oh, seeing the hours yes. rack up <laughs> of me playing this because I've done one class, one archetype. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I must protect the wild. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah. You are the hunted. I've honestly never seen Jungle Giants do this well in the dungeon run. This is incredible. You're doing very well. Well, I don't know if you've been listening to my self-praise in the last few minutes, but 
Pretty good it's at kicking butt. Yeah, you get, you're getting a lot of good synergy. Oh, there's that two mana hourglass. Oh. 80 health. Why 80, not? 80 feeling grady. <laughs> Three, and it's auto cast. So, yep. really, what are the first few turns going to look like? Depends on what he's got. Depends on what you know, he like, does. We'll see a little bit what he's going to get his hand here. Probably a big minion. There we go. Rats. Okay. Well, I'm going to rip the Tortolan Forager no matter what. Damn. Damn, it didn't work. Okay, so... You could. I mean, you could take it your turn. Not anymore. Uh, I think I'm a little addicted to that one time where it felt so good to yeah. play the extra turn. I mean, it's basically like uh, Wild Growth and Draw Card yeah. uh, at this point. I want it to be... You could, but yeah, I no, want it to be the two-mana for... Mega Pyroblast. Yeah. All right, so just conservatively running this down. You could have, I mean, it's, it's like a little bit sad for Jungle Tries, but you could have gone 2-5, drew to the flame there. Hooray! Yeah. Hero, raid. Uh, wow, that deadly yeah. shot was good. Okay, okay. Oh, got him. <sighs> okay, so far so good. Down to 75, feeling healthy. <laughs> Mulch, okay, so I think we just play on curve. Plus two attacking still. Uh, really? You know, the thing is, I, I feel like this... Its biggest value is not really in that it's reducing everything to zero. It's just that I have another. It's a five minute eight eight. Yeah. Um, I still feel like I kind of want to. Because because uh, you know I, mean, you... I can defend against these guys, but I don't really have that many activators in here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Ben? I'm doing this. <laughs> what do you have the mouse? What is this? No. <laughs> Backseat gaming directly to my right. I can't believe this is the setup. <laughs> oh, the King of Beasts. I remember this card. It actually works out pretty well because you can uh, you can tack into that and swipe one of the other ones. If yeah, you yeah. Let's see. You can also keep her the... I mean, we could shifting Hourglass and run out the Druid of the Flame and then... Let's see, next That's, turn... That essentially sets up a full board clear. If you go 2-5 yeah. with the Druid of the Flame... Which I, I don't know if you're willing to do that. I'm crazy, man. <laughs> um, I think I do this and actually make this a 5-2. Okay. So then when I hit this, this has one. Yep. I can swipe one of these two, yep, leaving yep. that with one. Yep. And then I will have Pure four power and attack. mana to... Yeah. yeah, all right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. this. Love it. I'm going to do this. Love it. I'm going to do that. You will be missed, my friend. Doink. I'm a mage. Here's my extra turn. Your turn. Nice. I feel very powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. High five, man. Nice. Great play. Great play. Gosh, that's, that's unheard of. You are down to 67, so that's yeah, I'm... a little rough. One mana corpse with Gosh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Oh, there's Tundra Rhino for one mana. Gosh. He's got a lot of cheap cards. He's running out of cards, though. I think I need to destroy this. That's pretty This does not dangerous. do this much. You could silence the Tundra Rhino. Could silence it. I could save mulch, mulch for something more yeah. intimidating. Maybe silence is actually the better choice. I mean, normally I think of this as being nice for the two damage against any sort of little aggro any, donks he runs out. Doesn't have any good two damage targets. You know what? I must save her. Shut up. Mulch up. Nice. Sick. Nice. And then we're not the Lich King. If I can get Frostmorn, I think Frostmorn is so My stupidly good. Rose. His power is growing. Oh my. There is no escape. Ooh. So I mentioned the difficulty starts ramping. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see here. I could run out this and this. This would not help. I think we have to just accept this stinks a bit. Yeah, you get the uh, get the Lich King card. You up, uh, hey, there it is. I, it is I amazing how consistently <laughs> I'm able to do this. It amazes that, even me. Oh man, he's got he sandworms out the wazoo. Yeah. It's bad when he starts just playing sandworms every turn. That's uh... okay, but but I can run this down, cry, and then <laughs> no, I can, I can run these cards down and set up to try to frost more than this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you could go Druid of the Claw and Revenant. Revenant's pretty good here, especially if you go charge into the two three, so he doesn't have another. Uh... I can, I mean, I can charge into this. I can. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna try to ensure 
that I can frost more to get this and yeah, then have you could enough trade left with over. both your guys. You're gonna get the other five one, right? Yeah. So I, I feel okay. Oh my goodness. He's playing a lot of eight eights. <clears throat> wow. What? Oh, hunt ends. In King of the beasts! No, yeah. I've never said that sentence before. <laughs> Not the king of the beasts. Okay, well, you. Um, oh, that's tough. You can, actually, you can uh, power the wild up to trade the into the top minion, and then think, you can frost more in the eight. Yeah, I think that's. Four. I think that is literally the only play that I see here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Can, you want to play another minion? No, it's frost. No, never yeah. mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, no, no, good. no, no. My heart rate is <laughs> really high too. I'm mean, I'm like seriously getting <laughs> tunnel vision. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hit this. Yeah. We're gonna get that. Yeah. We're gonna. That's actually nice. quite nice. That's actually quite nice. All right, we gotta somehow give this taunt. <laughs> All right, so we're down to 38. That's still good, right? You still That's have a lot of health. Is. Like he's gonna hit you with, with better time hydra, and it's like you're just starting the game. Oh my! Ah! That's pretty bad. Well, I I have two taunts now in Frostmourne. Yeah, that's true. I am about uh, I'm about to die. You'll have one here because the the 8 that you stole last time doesn't have taunt. For some reason, I was thinking of the the other dude. I think you still have to go into the five four though. I think I think it's gonna be play. So one two. Three, oh four, man, five. this dungeon run's getting spicy. You're gonna go sixty. Oh my gosh, no low. it's close. He's running out of cards though. For the wild. And you can you can maybe adapt long neck to get top. Because I mean we we're, we're pretty close to dead. Yeah. <sighs> and then I think yeah, let's do it. Saucy, saucy. I I am rooting for myself. This is, it's getting harder. And he's got, so at least he has less, he, he's, <laughs> I was gonna say, at least he has less cards in his hand, but he's got pretty good ones. Oh my. What? Okay, okay all right, that's, it's close to death. But you're gonna get two, you're gonna get one Tom in here. Okay, well let's just immediately toss down the Tortone Forger. Yeah. We, could, we could just get Deathwing and be fine. My favorite. Get wow, that is not helping yeah. anyone right now. Uh, is there any way to survive? You have to you get two Tom minions. So you, you could trade into the 9 8 with the 8 8, right? And then attack the 4 1. I, I could attack this to be able to get a charge that immediately comes back here. Oh, yes, that's great. I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm still completely dead. Is that right? I'm, I'm, I may. Because you're going to get two Tom minions. Okay, one Tom minion. One taunt minion. And an 8 8. Go, go for the huffer. I like that play. That's great. I think I think this is it. I think I have to go for this. Yeah. For the wild. Get this. Get one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. I have the four four. Yep. I have one health. So I kill this. Oh, you're still dead. Oh my gosh. You still lose. Oh my gosh. You, you could hope the AI sucks. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes let's see. Sometimes that works. <laughs> one time. All right. <laughs> Let's hit him with the Tarantus and yeah. see what goes down. This is oh, tough, please. man. This I is hope, tough. I hope no one considered this possibility <laughs> in the engineering department that there would be lethal on the board. <laughs> wow! Oh, that was it. No, he didn't just get out of the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Thus, All right. thus ends your, your first dungeon run, the first ever public dungeon run. You made, uh, oh, yes. you lost on the, on the sixth the boss. Ball. That's pretty good. Well, I, I have a question. Can we just play another dungeon run? Uh, yeah, yeah. We have, to, we have time? We're yeah, talking. we have time. Let's do one more. Right, okay. Cool, yeah. Let's choose a different class. Okay, yeah. See if you can, so your high score, you beat five. Let's see if you can let's see if you can beat six. One more, one more. Molly's giving me the one. And she's, she's doing this hand motion. It's like a Paul. I can't believe she'd do that to me. I'm excited. Wow. Okay, we got the giant rat again. All right, Paladin. Go, 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 oh, go. Oh, Paladin's fun. Yeah, I, I think that Druid was like my the first class that I got really into when I first got Hearthstone. That's fun. We got, you did really good with Jungle Giants. Five is not bad. I think you almost had that guy, too. He started playing a lot of 8-8s, but uh, it was looking pretty good. Oh, beautiful. I will so I don't know what's in this deck. Uh, I'm just going to mulligan for small minions because yeah. we're starting with He's got 10 health, so you just want to deal 10 as fast as possible. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, look. Not no, great. Not great. A Nobel sacrifice. That's great. That's fantastic. Really good news. Going to go ahead and run that puppy out. Good. Feeling good. And when I run out the 2 2, look at this. Wrecked. That, you know what? Did you, did you, um, did you try and take the candle on the bottom left? I mean, I don't, I don't know if the kobolds are happy about you taking the candle, but I was curious if you tried to take it. Goldshire Footman. Wow, that's. Maybe you can't, maybe you can't take it. All right. Oh. 
Oh! <laughs> Quickly, touch the rubbery thing for reassurance. <laughs> I can click this. Let's see what else. Let's see if I can. So there's a key here somewhere. Oh. Oof. Ow. This is my response. Nice. Good play. Super good play. Super good. Thanks, Ben. Yes. Thanks. You know what? That was super good myself. What else can blow up? I mean, right now I'm just doing the coin game. Hey, has anyone ever lost? Uh, yeah. On the first. Yeah, we tried to make the first boss very hard to lose to, so you get a chance to like really get invested in your deck and do some stuff. But I have seen it happen. Uh oh. It bet, it Never it... seen it happen on stream when we debut dungeon runs, full dungeon runs for the first time. But Mo I have seen it happen. Molly, if it's looking grim, I want you to hold the power button on the computer that you're streaming from <laughs> until the entire Pulled stream up. just cuts off. <gasps> That's good. That's lethal. There it is. That was like. <laughs> Come on, come on, give me this. I, I beat the first level that you just told me that it was designed so it could be beaten. You got lucky. I can't believe it, Ben. You're gonna laugh at me at AFK again. All right, your hero power is upgraded and costs one. Yeah, I love that. Your minions that cost five or more cost five. Passive, your minions have permanent stealth. I'm doing just a card. Really? Ring. Out of those three, you're gonna do just a card's ring? Yes. Wow. Yes, is that okay? I mean, is that okay? 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 <laughs> is that okay? Is that okay? I really like. I. I think. I think that the favorite thing for me about the paladin. Yeah. Is summoning an army of one. Then ones. Get like it, just a card, true heart. It, just a guy's ring. All yeah. right, here it goes. Divine wow. shield, another one of my favorites. Wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So I, I think I'm not gonna do this. Okay. I'm not gonna do this because if I if I put a lot of Murlocs in, I'm not gonna use my Justicar's right, ring. That's real bad. That's yeah. <laughs> actually that's just Champion's Rod is pretty good with Justicar's ring. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this over here and then Emperor Thorson and Tyrion's good, but Doctor Boom I think is is too strong. Doctor Boom. Graves restore two health to all minions. Oh So this is a this is a healer who was also running the dungeon with a party and he got separated, he got lost. Oh. And now he's... Uh, now he's our enemy. Now he's just wants the treasure for himself. And that's cool, he's got fingerless gloves. He's a fan of Mad Max. Okay, so this will activate, I assume, at the start. Yeah. Could keep the synergy, but my deck's so small, I'm guaranteed yep. to draw it on yep. turn four for turn five, yep. no matter what. 14 cards, like 13 cards in your deck, something like that. Dr. Like Boom. <laughs> okay, look at this. Excellent. Great. Now you always have a turn one play. It's pretty that good. It's pretty feels good turn one play. So good. Especially when, uh, especially when you want to kill these guys fast. Ooh, good. Wait. Yeah, I just blew them up. I'm telling you, man, I'm sick of this. So you could blessing of might just start, just start going. And you know it. This isn't like that one game where I forgot to add blessing of wisdom to the pony. No, we're putting blessing of might down right now. <laughs> We are saying, put it on that. What? <laughs> Countered. <laughs> Countered. Okay. Sick. Yeah. You know what? This is getting, this is getting crazy. He will not be silenced. Now, if I consecrate for lethal here, do you think that this would be me getting lucky? Be it's, not, it's not lethal anymore, right? Five, six, oh, there you go. Well, that's lucky. That's... <laughs> Wow. Wow. I can't believe it. Oh, man. You know what? This is my this is my particular skill set. This is my particular skill set. is the army of one ones and top decking true silver champion for the win. All right. Uh, this guy's reworked really worked out better than I thought it was going to. That was Ooh, pretty good. true silver. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. That's a lot. If you like army of one one minions, that left bucket is for you. Do you believe in buckets? <laughs> yeah, you know what? What is this? Discard all weapons from your hand? No, no, I don't want to do it. We're gonna go silver hand. <laughs> this is hilarious to me. This is actually really good. It's good, though. yeah, it's really good. All those cards are good. I think it might this might be the best choice because this synergizes with the one ones it and does. it has the equality. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Do it. Sick. 
Elder Brandelmar. Brandelmar. Okay. So he he puts counter spell into the battlefield. Okay. That's what he does. He's gonna counter your spells. Gosh, if I run into one counter spell, you got minions. Okay. Well, I have to. I have to just kill him with the one ones. Yeah, you do. Have, you're gonna have a lot of one ones. All right, I'm going first. With honor. Going first. Your magic finds no purchase here. This is actually pretty good, given that I can always run it down. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't have a silence also, effect. Also, you can you can uh, proc the if he if he has counter spell yeah. going on, you can get rid of that. And so I'm always going first here. It's really yeah, nice. you always go first. Yeah. This is automatic and cost two, so if he doesn't have a turn one play, we're just going to overwhelm him. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Not on my the battle. The battle. So can start with Noble Sack to proc the counterspell and then go... Blessing of my yeah, yeah, especially on this little dude. Right. Oof. Ow, his bones. We have a quality consecrate. And nice. you could add two more guys. That's saucy. Mm. I like this, uh, I like your, uh, your choice of the Justicar's ring here. I was skeptical at first, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. This is turning out great, because we, we have, I think, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, that's lethal. Boom. It's pretty lucky. Nice. That's pretty great. Pretty None sick. Well this done. Pretty sick. You know, this is pretty skillful. Boom. Oh my gosh, dude, these turn four wins. Yeah, right. All three have been turn four wins, right? You should change Paladin to just have this hero power in standard. This is what I've been missing. It feels good. It feels good. Okay, summon seven. Dr. Boom's boom box. Yeah. What, shoot three fireballs at random enemies that deal eight damage each. Steal three cards from your opponent's hands. This is three mana. This is. <laughs> These are all God. insane. They're totally nuts. I mean, I mean, listen. Molly, confirm for me. Chat wants me to do Dr. Boom's boom box. Confirm. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Let's see here. Get some not these. That's the new uh, Paladin Legendary Weapon. Oh. It's pretty good. You know, we could get a it's second got Emperor Frogs or the Earth in here. Steward of Dark Oh, hey. That's, so, you know, that, <laughs> that card's pretty good with your deck. It's got, uh, it's like two, summon two 1-1 one, one, uh, yeah, Divine I, Shield minions. I think I think it's got to be this. I think it's got to be this. It's we got, pretty good. It's 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 quite good, actually. Womp Whisker. Is Womp whisker. <laughs> Both players recruit a minion. Great. That seems good, right? I mean, I'm going to rip Thorson no problem. <laughs> He's coming down. It's probably better for you than it is for him, I think. I got to right? say, we got Tyrion, Thorson. If he pulls Dr. Boom, he is an enemy of fun. <laughs> Stick it at 7-7. Okay. I will fight with honor. I'm going to fight with some honor. So I don't think I want any of these cards. Yeah. None of these seem like... Well, well, might's actually not bad. Might. I'm probably going to go ahead and hang on to that one because yeah, on turn good. two... It's been good for you so far. <laughs> yeah, it's been... It's actually the best card hey, I have. Hey, that's good. That's what Woo! we like see. Okay. Gosh, I love this. This is so awesome. Yeah, it's really... Getting those, that turn one, two minions. That's pretty saucy. And the fact that this is always here to be able to activate... Yeah. Now, do I... Well, it, this is automatically going to activate. So, I really should go into face. Boom. And then, I might not run this down on turn three, because I can just... Yep. I'm telling you, wow. I'm sick. I'm sick of this. Wow, that is best possible situation. Now this is whenever attacks and kills a minion, it so, may attack again. Yeah, so if, if it gets through, if, if he can kill Tyrion somehow, me, that's child. that would be bad for you. Clear your board, but this is fine. I think you can run the steward now. I think I will actually. Yeah. Back to your homes. Because he brawls, he just can't brawl yet. Wow, you are he's dead. This Turn four, good. feeling good. Yeah. This is amazing. Wow, that worked out really good for you. Damn. Turn four, not so bad. Okay. Do you think that I might face my arch nemesis AFK in round four? I think you're well well uh, suited. Your deck is specifically good against AFK. Wow, Sunkeeper Terum is ridiculous with your deck. This is this is completely unfair. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Wow. All those buckets were quite good. You had a spiker steed in there. No! <laughs> Lyris the Wild Mage. She loves fire. Her minions love that she loves fire. <laughs> Arcane Fusion. Your power. Oh, At this this fight is bull. Oh, my gosh. This fight, dude. Good luck. I barely beat this fight last time I ran up against her. 
It's, it's real good. So how many? Actually, I actually think your, your deck is okay against this. Well, the arcane missiles <laughs> added to the hand really, really, really sucks. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Uh, oh hey. I will fight with honor. That's that's that's, that's, a, that's a two great tastes that taste great together right there, <laughs> Mr. Boom and his. Oh, sorry, Doctor Boom. Doctor Boom and his Doctor Boom's he did boom a lot box. Of work to get the, uh... Okay, so I can Argent Protector one of my Deuterinos. So, how many different? Heroes are there, or are you allowed to? There are 48 oh, unique it. encounters. So it's, oh. and a lot of them are like rare fights. So every time you run the dungeon, it's completely different. You'll never have two dungeon runs that are the same. Do I want to run this down or run down the Goldshire Footman? I think I want to have some sturdiness here. Jerk. I guess it's here it okay. Goes. No, no. Oh, yeah, that was great. Spells are fun. So I think I'm going to Earth and Ring Farseer the 2-1. I think this is the play right here. Okay, yeah. We're, we're going to try to avoid the boom boxage until things are getting a little yeah, comfy. Right. Yeah, That's going to be the build. So this is this is what's uh, this is what's a little uh, bull about this fight. <laughs> Flame Waker's real good with her deck. It's like pretty ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to don't gonna go. leave Flame Waker up. This is my yeah, just fill it, fill it, fill the board. You gotta have some. Some juice so that you now, stand. when arcane missiles get uh -oh. no, <laughs> Dave, why do you laugh so much? <laughs> no, oh, that was good. Wow, no, not so the three far. one. Sick. Nice, nice. Die. Oh, that's good. Of course. I'm saving this. Of course, the battle. I want to get the damage in. We still have this play. We still have this play. Yeah, and at some point, the Boombots are just going to destroy him. Yeah. That's yeah, the third dude. one. Yeah. Call the police. <laughs> yeah. She's the Lyris the Wild Mage does not okay. listen to rules. Okay, okay. I hope she doesn't play that guy. Not the 2 1. No. No. You're close to. Um... I'm curious. Do you, do you, okay. Oh wow! Wow, that's bold. That is bold. Is it really? That is, is it really really bold? What? What? Oh, what? 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 That was what, actually what, what? good. That was much better than than casting another arcade missiles. That was very lucky. Very skillful. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, consecrate? Hmm? Do you want consecrate here? No. Really? No. Why would I want consecrate here? I, are you serious? I, 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 uh, yes. I, I wanna... <laughs> Wait. What? 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 Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> are you kidding me? Why do I want to do that? All right, I'm curious to see how this goes. Go ahead. Yeah. No. Here. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me present to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What my intention was. We do this. Yeah. And now we have just enough. Oh for yeah. Doctor Boom. Oh yeah. Bro. Oh. Well done. Yeah, I well, thought that having five boom bots on board at all points in time would be pretty sick. Cool. <laughs> How is it deck? Is that all that's in this deck? This deck is ridiculous. Yeah, oh, he doesn't have enough arcade missiles in his hand. It's, uh, Seven, eight, planning. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Boom? You know what? I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea, okay? I'm going to do this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to consecrate. <laughs> that was awesome. Boom I, uh, This. Is, is that deck literally Flame Wakers? I think so. I think it's Flame Wakers and Arcade Missiles Hero Power. And that's the deck. <laughs> it's actually hyper difficult. You did well. Okay. Anyways, cost one more. Start of the gameplay, please. Okay. Probably not Potion of Vitality. I've been very, very aggressive. Passive. Enemy minions cost one more. This could let me just get control of the board more, but... Uh, but at what cost? I think this is it. I think it's Glyph Awarding. I think it's Glyph Awarding. The is pretty good. Because, I mean, there's a lot of automated Hero Powers. Ooh. Anyways, oh, so Ooh. not these. This is this is so ridiculous. This is kind of neat, but I think it's absolutely got to be this. Warriors I mean, trainers, real good. I can get a second Sunkeeper to rim, and yeah. I don't even have a Stonehill defender. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, this is excellent. I'm getting into this lava, lava field chamber. Uh oh. Kobolds attempted to board up this lava field chamber. I didn't even look at the hero power. I'm feeling really <laughs> overconfident at this point in time. What could okay. go wrong here in the lava field chamber? Yeah. Certain death. Certain <laughs> death. I was so funny. Like, what'd you expect? What do you think would happen? All, All right, right. So, so 
Lo so this is the fifth I boss. Is, if you beat this, are you boss. farther than you ever been? Is that the? I, I will be back to where I was before. I okay. died on boss six last okay. time, so I, I want. Six? I want to hover over this. This is boss five, I think. Because the last one was four, and I was wondering okay. if I'd okay. be able to hit. Uh... Lava filled chamber. What does it do? What does it do? It's what like it deal do? one damage to all enemy minions each turn, and I'm like, well. What does it do? <laughs> That's actually. It doesn't hurt your power. It actually works out. It's when you play a minion. After anybody plays a minion, it takes two damage. Oh, after a minion is played. This hero power is called the floor is lava. <laughs> okay. Excellent, excellent. This is great news. So we're gonna have a three three. Oh yeah, this is great news. Dark. Would conviction. you rather have a three three or would you rather have two more one ones and a four one? I guess three three. Got a lot of fire there. Lava filled chamber. Okay. Oh, Alright, that's fine. Smooth. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that uh I bet that's explosive runes. That would be thematically appropriate if it is explosive runes. Okay, so he here's God. It's a mage secret. Yeah. Why don't so you send one guy in, send one guy in. That's what I'm gonna do. In case it's an ice barrier or vaporize. Seems like this would not be what it is, but now it could be the explosive. None may this would be fine because this would trigger here, and then this would deal six damage on the rest of the hero. Yeah, yeah, good call, good read. All right, cool. That's a cool effect. This secret is so cool because I mean, so many secrets for mage are like defensive or responsive, and that's just like go to face. Oh my gosh, the army. These guys take two damage too, so. I think I got the play here. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we run that's, out this. Yeah. Back to your home. Yep. Yep. Then we do this. Reporting and it hurts a little bit. The battle. Yep, we're okay. Yeah. Now I could yeah. I could blessing yeah. of might on this yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh because even if it gets killed off, I'm gonna run down the sun keeper yeah. at some point. Oh gosh, dude, I love the arm. No, the makers. That's actually good. I don't know. Still good, the Sun Keeper carrying here, I think. Or you could next turn yeah, hero I'm, power. Sun I'm Keeper, feeling right? really greedy. I think I'm gonna do really? this. Really? I just there's something about me that just feels that way. All right, All right. The, well, this is gonna be insane three seven if it happens. I'm just gonna restore this because I don't think I'm ever gonna be worried about my health this game. Famous last words. Oh, you know, I I, I like to I like to make that phrase famous. <laughs> I doubt that's gonna uh -oh. be All right, and you can make it a three three too. Wait. Yeah, no, you, you you can get one more one the one, battle. right? Actually, oh could. gosh, yes, that's right. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Wait, do you want to? You can go into the. Uh... See what I want to do is. Well, let me see. So yeah, if I go, yeah. I can trade one of these in. I can, can make pop it three, here and make it a three three. Could, yeah, I would. I would just go four one to the face and then. Yeah. The and then summon to get yeah. six, and then summon to get this out. And then this crashes here, yeah. and this is there. There it is. There, there, is. there it is. This is good. The floor is lava, though. But how how lavacious is it? It's just twisting Nether instantly die. Okay, so I think we I think we did it. I think we won. Summoning That's good. Show. That's good. Three, six, oh, three, six, nine. For the makers. Come on. Come on, man. Alright, well. For the makers. The going in, send him to one. The there it is. The battle. The battle. Uh I'm very scared of completely screwing myself over so I don't yeah. play next to champions yeah. wrong. Ooh. Hey, hey, I think we did it, unless that's taunt. All right. Excellent. Nice. Your board was so big, even Volcano couldn't clear it. Woo! GG. Wow, this is a... Uh, is this a new record? I got to the, this same spot. Okay, this right. is as far as I've ever been. Okay. Do you have like a like a graph of how yeah, so, uh, rarity of getting to each thing? First, let's check out. What the? In another? Wow. Yes, yes, I really want to get this one. Are oh, Crystal Lion is really good. Crystal Lion, Divine Shield Crystal. It's a 5-5 five, five Divine Shield that's basically free for your deck. I, I still think also, I like this. you could have this. another Tyrion if you wanted one. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I'm just going to keep getting the Sunkeeper okay. to Rums. Right. I, think that's, <laughs> I think that's the plus. That's your third one, right? Yeah. Candlebeard! Uh, after you play minion, give it charge. So his minions have charge. Candlebeard. Okay. Charge. Yeah. So this is the seventh. This is probably where you've ever been. You just beat your sixth boss. This is the second to last fight. 
And this is where it gets... Oh, that's bosses defeated. I thought that was what round we were no, on. No, yeah, it says I at mean, the top, it says seven out of eight. It literally says exactly what it means. Yeah. But I just looked at the number and assumed I knew what I was talking that about. That number counts up uh, over multiple runs. So that'll tell you all the bosses you've ever defeated this battle. Right? At the top, it tells you what you're on. Your own, what, what boss you're on. Trigger me diggers. This is fine. Now, the thing that's so sick is that our passive makes his minions cost one more. Yeah, right. And that's pretty good here because he's obviously got a lot of minions that he wants to play and get charged to. And if I hover over, is that where it displays the enchantment? No, you just got to remember. Okay. You'll see it on his, uh, every minion he plays, it costs to be red. So you'll see that he's... Uh, oh, okay, good. Whew. I'm just going to keep growing the army. Let's do it. Let's keep it there, growing man. it. Dude, how good would that crystal lion be right here, man? That's, that would be nuts. No! Don't... Ugh. Okay, okay. Yeah, pirates. So I think that I... I think it is good for me to just march the these two in. Okay. I'm going to the hero power back up. Do I want to bless in the mic? I, I, I think, think so. It's always good. Like, just getting some damage it in. It feels super strong. It puts him in a position where he has to deal with that guy. <laughs> Pirate Rager with charge. Magma Charger. Wow. Excellent. He's, he's got a plan. He's a man with a plan. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. Can you... You got room for... So, yeah, I can do this the and then oh, yeah. Yeah. Stuart oh, and this. Yeah. This, I think I'm going to hang on to. This is a way to get damage in, but he's already at 50, so... I like it. Begin to make like an army of Divine shield Aronis, because one of our three <laughs> Sun Keeper Terrans <laughs> is going to be helped. By having this board of 1-1s. One this, is, this is crazy. This is a good deck. This is so satisfying. This oh, is exactly yeah. why I like to play Paladin. Okay, that guy's got charge. He starts to... Oh, he's realizing that his plan to kill you before you kill him is not a good plan. The battle. Oh, yeah, and you can... And you can Uldaman. That is... I, I, think I, I think I hold on to the Uldaman because oh, yeah. we're going to be able to Sunkeeper next it, turn. Uh, oh, right. And you want to use it... Um, As removal, basically. Yeah, right. That's oh good. my gosh. That's good. The bro nine is so sick. Oh, wow. oh, look at me go. I'm so unbelievable. <laughs> That's a good card, but it didn't actually hurt that much, surprisingly. He knows. Okay, so we have some options here. We can try to just Sunkeeper right now. I actually kind of like Sunkeeper yeah. right now. Keep this guy alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have so many Sunkeepers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. And now he can't easily target your uh, Steward of Darkshire even with the charge. Man, that's pretty, you're pretty resilient to that. You can, if you draw a Sunkeeper, you can play, play yeah, it. Yeah, heal all your guys. Heal up. back up again. Yeah. Can we get Sunkeeper one time? Okay. Um, I think I think I'm just Actually, running up Doctor Boom. Dr. Boom is good with the Steward of Darkshire too. Yeah. Is your Boombots get divine shield? We're doing it. We're doing it nice. so well. Oh. Ooh, oh, oh, the satisfaction is incredible. Man, that pickup was real good for that for this deck. The uh, Steward of Darkshire, that was excellent. Oh my gosh, he has to run it into the 3-1. Magma who? Yeah, he finally figured okay. it out. 3, 6, <laughs> so, so, this card's is 10. so this is 10. This is uh, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17. 17. Bam. Nice. Wow, you made it to the final boss. I, that's very difficult. That's very difficult. I'm pretty powerful with so, Iron G. So uh, the last boss, there's right. five different final bosses. Okay. They're okay. incredibly difficult. All right. And here's your final treasure you're going to get to choose from Hero here. attacks, gain an empty mana crystal. Okay. Taunt, can't attack, freeze any character damaged by this minion. So one mana, three fifteen. I think that's it. I think this is it's the portable ice wall, hundred percent. I think it's absolutely what it is because we already have a huge way to swing forward. I think wondrous wand could give me zero mana. I feel like it's not the greedy pickaxe. I feel like it's one of these two. They're all really good. Yeah, I think I think it's wondrous wand. I think it's wondrous wand. I think it's wondrous wand. I think okay. that's, that's, right. what, it I think that's right. what it is. All right, what's our last pickup here? <laughs> I don't think that Foxy Alright um, After a friendly minion loses Divine Shield Is that what that says? Yeah, so that's, you're going to lose a lot of Divine Shield I'm going to be losing a lot I think it's, I think it's the Divine Shield Because this, oh, this is just wrong This is an incorrect This is an error it's like the Final boss is super hard You want Tumor in the Foxes? <laughs> <laughs> don't, 
tell everyone you attended BlizzCon twice. Uh, Chillblade Champion, I don't need the charge as much. I think it's, I think it's gotta be All right. Divine Shield, All but right. I'm, not, I'm not over the moon about it. Oh, it's King Dogwaggle. I'd be looting other loots, you'd be booting down the loot suit. <laughs> Hero power, find a treasure, and it's three. He has 70. Okay, okay. All right, now King Togwaggle is very special. Obviously, he's the kind of the host of the missions. This is yes. Uh, this is the guy. This, this is, is King Togwaggle himself. I'm in the mood. I'm feeling. I'm feeling excellent. It's exciting. He's he's, okay. he's he's you know you don't you have to get to the end of the dungeon and then he's just one of many final bosses here. Fight with honor. All right, Somebody hand is not great. Okay, so I'm gonna chuck all these back. Yep. We Probably have get two Sunkey Returns and Tyrion here. Yeah, no, I, no, we're gonna get that magic wand pretty soon here. I'm telling you, this blessing of might it's will follow huge. me everywhere. It's great. So this is three mana, okay? He's, he's got. He the, starts with two mana. Yeah, he's got a little extra mana there. Bastard. Okay. All right, here we go. Silver hand recruit. There it is. I'm going in like golf commentary <laughs> mode. <laughs> so uh, something cool about King Togwaggle here is that. You know, he's got, most kobolds have like a wax and candle on top of their head. Yeah. He's got a brass lantern, and, and actually inside the lantern lives a uh, fire elemental, tiny fire elemental, who uh, uh, is kind of, the, the, his name is Candle. So he's okay. still got a candle okay. on his head, but it's, uh, what does he play there? The, the Scroll of Confusion? Scroll of Confusion. It's swapped things to all different sides of the battlefield. Oh, wow. For zero mana. That's one of his treasures. It's pretty good. Oh, the bag of coins. So, <laughs> so he's gonna. <laughs> okay, it's okay. No, because I have a quality. Yeah, remember all those treasures right? that were hyper ridiculous throughout the adventure? So he just yeah. gets one for three mana. This is hero power. Just get one of those. So, uh, he okay. magic missiles whenever you use arcane missiles whenever you. Uh, all right. Battle cries. He's pretty good. That's a collectible card. Well, his 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 hand's getting pretty empty now. Yeah, that's probably yeah, but he can draw a card with zero power. <laughs> Me no crazy. You crazy. This is not this is not that bad. You're right. It's not this bad. Is not, you have this is not awful. Uh, you're not quite there. Yeah, you do get the one ones. I think that I'm summoning this obviously. Do I want to make one a three three? I think so. I think I'm I'm yeah. in the mode where yeah. I'm not trying to do something conservative. I'm just trying to slow him down, yeah. yeah. Alright, magic candle. This What's looks, it gonna be? This doesn't look great for you. Oh he got the pickaxe. Now he's gonna gain it's not extra the worst. mana. Every time he attacks, he gets mana. Yeah, yeah. He's a six mana, you have three. That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's Terra. Oh, there's, there's one of them. There's your boy. I think, yeah. Clearing the, the board, keeping it down, yeah, keeping you're not, calm. You're not dead yet. Thank I don't you. think I'm dead. You're not yet. I think yeah. I'm, so think far, okay. you aren't dead. So if he winds up expending all his cards, if I draw a Consecration at some point, I have enough health that this could be okay. And you do have to, you know, you have, you have turns that are going to go well. It's hard. It's uh, Terran's awkward right here because I don't have the mana anyway, but but, uh, but you're going to have to buff all the guys. Boy, he feels <laughs> awkward as hell right now. I guess you, you know, can follow up with... I feel like... Oh, no, no, no. He's going to one one into one of your guys. Yeah, I feel like I want to get this down at some point. Ah... <sighs> Yeah, even tough. even Sun Keepering right now sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Just play it down, give him a big yeah. army of three threes. Oh, that's tough. Come that's on. Bad. Okay. All right. One oh, out of 25. Good. Consecration off the top. Oh, there's the Hilt of Keldalar there. Okay. You know, I'm thinking off the top. It would be pretty good because you have the quality here, too. Off the top. Here it comes. Guy Consecration. Like still good even to quality, I think. Okay. I think. I think I might, yeah. And here's the play. Playing a quality. <laughs> Kill the eight one. The Damn, Consecrate would be pretty good right now. And and there it is. <laughs> yeah, here. Alright, I'm running this down. Oh, Unfortunately, you waste so much mana here. You'll be making Kendall very angry. I don't. Oh my God, that is one angry candle. <laughs> Deal four damage to a random enemy. Good. The army of one one is Rock holding strong. That's his name. His name is Rockinishu. Rockinishu. The candle. Monsters behind you. Death rattle. Summon a copy. This of is a... okay. He oh, can't maybe deal maybe a maybe huge amount of damage. Uh oh. I I kind of feel like Doctor Boom might Boom's be not a good bad. Play. You're not quite dead yet. Hero power to rim is always a good play. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's getting close. I think I think it might have to be a Sunkeeper turn. 
So I don't want to kill this one. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to run out the Sun Keeper. We're going to pop into this guy. I feel like this is perhaps the best that I can hope for. It does get, Train's going to come down. It does get in the way of some stuff, so that's, that's helpful. Oh my. It's pretty bad. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. I still feel optimistic and positive. I feel really bad. I feel pessimistic and sad. Um... <laughs> I want to win. I want to win very badly. Oh, you're getting low here. He's out of the... Uh... Oh, my. Oh, that's how, real How long until bad. he goes to fatigue? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. He okay, is okay, okay. drawing a lot of cards. Oh, boy. Uh, can you deal 61 next turn? Can you do that? Damn, that would have been nice if it was a Consecrate. Tyrion? Tyrion, he'll go pop and then hit hit and then he'll have a he little bit he won't less. won't be dead technically technically, technically he won't. not dead i will be in theory i think not Tyrion's dead. your only hope here you don't really have any other plays sunkeeper kind of gives me a similar bad situation yeah. but i'll have dudes out Put oh all right Tyrion, one time one time one time Okay, well, he's... Oh, one time. One time. No, I'll take, I'll take. Well, that's good. That's not. You're yeah, not dead well, yet. Well, he used his magic candle before he played a dude. So. Oh, there's a rogue secret. All right. That's a bad trade. So we're, we're taking a trip that's to good for you. one. That's good for you. That's that was bizarrely good. Uh, hmm. Okay. So, we have some options here. Is one of them Doctor Boom? Well, I feel like okay. So. I don't know what this rogue secret is. I feel like oh, if we do this, he'll have some three threes. Yep. I'll be able to kill one with the weapon. Then I can yep. go hero power, tainted, zealot, and sunkeeper turn. Yeah, and that's that, it. that seems that's like good. the best that's play. That's a great play. But I don't quite remember what the secret well, for bounce. rogue is. Either way, it's good because he gets the bounds. Be... Yeah, that's good. That's great. All right, cool. He's, gonna, he's not gonna burn. Well, he he'll, when he draws, it hero powers before. It's not auto cast, I think, so he won't cast it. I think he's going to cast it. All right, we'll see. We'll I, see. I wager right. that he will. Well, let's go. Let's go see Tyrion in action here. Okay. That's pretty good. That's. I'm feeling a little bit better. You are at four, but okay, you've got, you got some then... heals in your hand. Ooh, Damn it. No. You. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Okay, go, okay. He, uh, oh, he's got, a, he's got a lot of coins here because of the Tomb Pillagers. So many. He's got the portable ice wall. Oh, no. <laughs> And the candle. The candle's pretty good. Oh, candle shuffle into the deck. That's pretty good. That was, that was better than Consecrate. Okay, so <laughs> I have to run down this Goldshire Footman to hang in there. This guy can't attack, though. Yeah, right. Taunt freeze any minion damage. You could, you could ult him on that. I think that that's got to be the play. I think that's got to be it. Okay, this you is. You got to start thinking about healing yourself, too, I think. None may steal off. So you want to trade like this? For the and what's the secret? It could be um, he goes immune. It could be uh, your guy t attacks a friendly guy. Oh, that's real dangerous because he's gonna get the death rattle minion. He's gonna get a, a one-one copy of the minion. Yeah. I, I mean, I think. For I, think I like to live life on the edge. Okay. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. No, we're okay. Hopefully. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. That's right. Draw Terra. We draw Terra. Yeah, I think that's that's basically my strategy at all points in time. Is if we draw Sunkeeper Terra. Yeah, two more. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, that, didn't, that wasn't that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Wow. <sighs> wow. Okay. All right. Well, we've got Doctor Boom. We really want. We still want Consecrate. Yeah. Uh, so it. Okay. So if I go hit. Man, you need to heal. So if I go. I think you you attack the the you go f use your face into the one two. Right? That's I think that's got to be it. And then I need to send this one into here to see if it's one of the immunes. Uh, so I have to do this first. Yeah, that's the, okay. So it's not the bounce. And so no, wait, 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 that's going to attack an adjacent minion if you do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So. So if, do you want to go with the left one so you don't accidentally kill the? Go with the left. I, th I think we we go with this one, right? Well, then you're definitely going to kill the. You're going to lose your cobalt. But if you go here, you could hit that and only lose. You know what I mean? Well, if if I do this cobalt, I know that I lose this 
So right. I can recruit, right? Yes. So if I attack in like this, all right, all right, all right. this can kill either one, but right. if I attack in like this, it'll definitely kill the one on the right, so I'm going to do this. Okay, if you go in here, you might not lose anything, because it could go there and just deal two damage. Wait, but then this guy would die himself, right? Y yes, but he's dying no matter what. The guy who attacked was going to die. I see what you're trying to say. Because he's going to attack into the... Ah. <laughs> There's no timer ah. here, so you could really, you know, puzzle this guy out here. <laughs> Yeah, it's so diplomatic. It's so amazing. <laughs> that's that's truly astounding the way that you. You know what? This is this the is the guy. <laughs> that was a rogue secret. So he attacks one of its neighbors. Oh, he went into the one one anyway. But now you have a one one with spell power two instead of. Uh... But I think I need to trade to kill. So yeah, do I want uh, the blessing of might? I think I oh, want a yeah. blessing of might. This. Yeah, right. I think yeah. that's basically. Yeah, it didn't matter anyway. You're right. And, uh, boom, and hero power? That's, that's gotta and be the point. you can start healing next turn with that Crucifer Champion, but you're real low. Dude, I'm fine. He's gonna go into fatigue, man. This is, uh, there's like any number of treasures that will immediately kill you. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. Nothing funny about this. It's just not funny. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's gonna be bad. That is, uh, that is not the right card for this. Justice. This card's fine. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Right. Uh, heal. Okay. Okay. Oh, he goes immune. Okay. That's interesting. Now I'm gonna do this, and it's going to attack this. No, it's not. Well, that's good. That's real good. That's real good. So what is this then? That's that's either uh, the one that attacks a neighbor, if you attack, uh, or it's the one that when you uh, I guess yeah, it's gotta be that one. It's, it's the attack a neighbor one. Well, well, I attacked here, and I didn't attack a neighbor. Uh, okay, then it's. Uh, no steppy one, but how could that you attack that? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, oh no, I have no idea. I have no idea. Could be anything. Could be anything. I have no idea. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was a. <laughs> no hero okay. power. Oh okay. no! You got a hero power. That's your only chance, right? Okay. Because you got to get your targets for the. Um, you know. Reporting for duty. Okay, that's good. You're still alive. That's right. Any scenario in which you are still alive is better than the other scenario. Okay, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Watch this. This is so okay. sick. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it could be anything. Ah! Ah! Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I mean, there's I, I, no way you win this game, but I'm surprised you survived that turn. Wow. Well. <laughs> hey! It's that's good. my friend, Sun Keeper to Rim. Better play it this turn when he's got a hand full of legendaries. <laughs> gotta heal. I, I, don't, I have no idea what the secret is. I, I, I don't know what it is. The shadow staff I, only option, bounce yeah. into each other. Uh oh. Well, okay. That's good. He played 10 mana for a 5 5. And then he didn't have enough mana because because of that treasure you took, yeah. he wasn't able to follow it up. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I think I'm going to Avenging Wrath. Yeah. Well, if I hit and then Avenging Wrath, that could be considered more efficient, but I just want to. You need more stuff on the board. I think. Well, okay. So what's the probability of doing this? It's like. It's close to 50%. I see. So, yeah, no, maybe you should tear him, tear him first. You can also consecrate first. Yeah, you know, I think I think I'm gonna do this because now the probability is just so high. Yeah. And then your power. Yeah. I just wanted to check. I always check before the animation's done. Wait, this this oh, bug and it didn't it didn't go off last time. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's when you text a hero. You have to take a oh, hero in it. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh. Tragedy. Er, er, Tragedy er, strikes. Er, er, er. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's okay because That's we know. That's why we forgot about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well. I have no time for games. Ooh, rough. You could try. It's actually okay. It's okay. Yeah, no, I'm. But it leaves you in a precarious situation. Sick so card, Daylight. Oh my God. All right. Well, let's let's begin the slow grind. Let me go ahead and begin. Every single point matters. Okay. Yeah. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, this is so. We're still close. alive. We're still... Oh, that sucks a We're lot. Dead. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. <laughs>
Oh. Well, that was intense, man. You actually did really good. I'm pretty nice. You got to the final uh, poignant advice from uh, King Tog while you there. So many treasures. <laughs> now to be showing them. To oh my fun. gosh. Oh, seven from heaven. Look at, <laughs> look at my sad, cracked portrait. <laughs> Very close. You almost won. Uh, oh, dude, that is so fun. Yeah. And, then, oh and every gosh. round feels totally different. Like, it, each class has got a real different feel for going to the dungeon. They all have unique boxes, unique strategies to choose. It's super fun. That is awesome. Yeah. And it's totally free. All right. So, uh, I, I, have I have a section on my sheet called Closing Comments. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's, let's do This is the most professional thing ever. Watch this. We're going to look. <laughs> we're going to hold the piece of paper up. And we're going to... Uh, okay, so <laughs> you know I, I got this guy. Okay. <laughs> Guys, Kobolds and Catacombs launches worldwide on December seventh, and in case you have no idea how a calendar works, that's Thursday. <laughs> Start starts launching. Expense it starts launching on December seventh. Yes. Yeah. In addition, the last chance to pre-order for Kobolds and Catacombs, which is slightly more packs for slightly less money, is December sixth at eleven fifty nine p.m. That's right. If you are just one second late. You will not be able to go to the Ball of Cinderella. You will not be able to get the pre-order. The, the card back's sick, yeah. too. It's really it's awesome. Okay, that's oh, that's those are all the closing comments. We got it. God, we got we're really it. good at that. That was <laughs> great, man. Ben. This was awesome. What an honor. Thanks for tuning in. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and honestly, I'm I'm super excited about the recruit decks. Now, now, having seen them in action a little more, the fact that you can keep summoning back those four cost minions is... Yeah. Pretty sick. And all the different recruit decks play totally differently, too, so I think it'll be fun to explore the four cost or less one or uh, the big minions one for Warrior. I think it's going to be fun. Sick. I can't wait to see the decks people are going to make. I, uh, yeah, man. There's, there's, some, there's some sauciness. And we're going to put that. There's a couple more cards they haven't revealed yet. Those are all going to go up on our uh, Facebook page. So if you want uh, to. What time are those going up? Today. Immediately. Today. Yeah. They're going up now. Yeah. Now? Something like Right now? Something like now. Oh, now uh, now I, I received one shrug. Hmm? <laughs> All right, enjoy the dungeon runs. It's happening. It's all happening. It's like uh, it's like soon. Yeah. That's Thursday. Awesome. Yeah. Worldwide, December 7th. <laughs> 1159 on December 6th. That's the day before December 7th. So that'd be Wednesday night. <laughs> Think about it. the math on that. That's yeah. Close. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>